Lily, would you rather be eaten by a zombie or eat a zombie? It's eat or be eaten. I guess eat. Eat? Could I put the condiments on it? Sure. <laughs> You've done well. That's an amazing question. Well done. By the way, if the PC is still rattling, try just kind of tilting it from side to side and back to front a bit. It might unrattle whatever is there. it is that is resonating in there. See, I was listening to it last night, and it's not doing it right now either, right? So I think it must be something loose that it's the it's the the GPU fan and the CPU fan having to work harder while rendering like the stream and everything in the game. So it must be um, it must be the vibrations is making something move. Or a loose fan, like someone said. But I feel like if it was if it was a cable hip against a fan, we could hear it right now, right? Usually my computer is pretty quiet. I did notice that I was hearing a little bit of rattling when I have um, stuff rendering overnight. So maybe maybe there's something loose. Hmm. Do you have a game that gets the 400 FPS to test for coil wine? Just do one of those uh, those. Um, uh, oh, what are they called? Where it specifically is it called fur test? Where it tries to, or, or Cinebench does it, but there's a, it's like a fur test or something that makes it so it will get your computer as hot as it possibly can go. Fur mark, that's it. Yeah. Why is it called fur mark? Hey Joe, how's it going? It's going okay. Um, we uh we had uh, someone here today this morning. We had to get up early. I didn't get much sleep, so we had to get up early. Um. Finn, Finn was having issues sleeping last night, so I was up with him, and then I had to get up early because some guy was coming in the morning, and he actually got here on time. So it's good that we uh, that we um, we got up early because usually when we get up for people coming to deliver things or look at something in the house, they they either show up late or don't show up at all. Um, so we we got up, and um, it was a, an electrical issue, uh, which was very turned out to be very minor. Um, and but just in case, we turned off the computers downstairs because the, they don't have uh, battery backups. Um, just in case we have to turn the power off, and we and after the guy left, we turned the computers back on, and Lily's computer won't turn back on again. So, do you not turn your PCs off when on use? No, we just leave them on. I've I've heard that you just you should just leave them on. Isn't turning computers on and off somewhat stressful for them? I've heard you you should just leave them on. So we do that. I used to turn them off all the time, but then someone told me that, and I'm like, okay, I'll just leave them on. No, you should turn them off. Really? I've heard that turning them off and on is a stressful experience for computers, and you should leave them. You should leave them on. Discord didn't um didn't ping. Yeah, give me a second. What is there to stress? Uh, I think there's two things. It's temperature differences. Uh, going from like cold to warm uh, causes little expansions and contractions. That's why you get cracks in concrete outside, right? Um, and also s starting movement is more stressful experience for some components than maintaining movement. I think those are the only two. But maybe it's an older computer thing. Someone is saying it's only with hard drives. Hmm, okay. Maybe I should be should be turning turning them off then. You should turn them off so the software gets to reset sometimes. If nothing else, reboot them a couple times. We, well, re, we do regular reboots, but like full on turn off, and then like it's it's off for a while, and then we turn it back on. Is pretty rare for the computers, but they get regular reboots for sure. I would say if you have a hard drive, it is because the initial spin to get the PC to write data on it. Yeah, maybe maybe it's uh, with old hard drives. But yeah, so I took I took the computer apart. It was one of my old work computers. It's like uh, it's like whatever computer I have replaces the old one, which becomes the backup computer in case the current computer I, 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 I use stops working. It also becomes a rendering machine. And then whatever the third computer was back then, Lily usually gets because Lily doesn't play games or do anything strenuous on the computer. So um, e even a computer that's a couple years old, or in this case, I think it's like five or six years old, is um, is, is like a, a Rolls Royce to what she needs computers for. You know what I mean? Um, so that's so it's one of my old, com one of all my old work computers. Um, so I, I took it apart. It was pretty dusty. I took it apart. I cleaned it. I unplugged everything. I plugged it all back in. I took all the connections out inside. Um, it's getting power because some of the, there's like some weird LED inside on part of the motherboard that is lighting up. So it's power is getting through. It's just when I hit the power button, it doesn't work. So I took all those connectors off. I even tried to, to I even tested to see if the power button itself was broken. I put a screwdriver on the, uh, 
the pins to, to get it to start. I looked up a tutorial how to do that, um, and that didn't start it, although maybe I just did it wrong. Um, so yeah, it um, it's it's just not working. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess I, I have an, enough PC parts around the house that I could scavenge something together. I don't know if the CPU would fit on it, though. No lights on the motherboard. There is one light on the motherboard is, is, is lighting up, and when I hit power, just nothing happens. It, it, it doesn't boot and then go, or like, like just literally nothing happens. It's like the power button isn't working. Um, so it's probably a loose wire, but like who knows? Faulty RAM. If it was faulty RAM, I think it would try to boot, right? What color is it lighting up with? That part is not lighting up. It's it's one of the decorative um, LEDs or whatever is uh, is lighting up. So I know power is getting to the motherboard. You know, I assume you tried to unplug and plug back. Oh yeah, I am. I unplugged everything in in there in the case as well. Um, I took it outside. I I got. I gave it a gamer bidet. Um, cleaned it all up. Everything. So so yeah. Did you see the developer of Dujana commenting on your stream? I did. Yeah, I did. Um, developers commenting on my stuff always makes me a little uncomfortable. So I read it and I was like, oh, that's cool. Um, pretty respectful comment. Did you clean everything with water? Yes, of course, yes. Did you connect the pins on the board with something metal without button? I tried that, yes, and it didn't work. But I could have done it wrong. Yeah. If it was faulty RAM, I don't even get past BIOS. We're, we're not even getting into BIOS. It won't, it won't even start. Like, like when, when you press the power button on a computer, the CPU fan is, is one of the first things to start going, and it's like, and you're like, okay, it's getting power. But I, it's not even doing that. It's like, it's not even getting to that point. You know what I mean? Like, there's just, just nothing. Um, so there's something wrong with power getting to it, or there's something wrong with the power button is what is the issue. Um, so I remember in the past, sometimes that computer wouldn't start and I would have to hit the power button a couple times before it went through. So maybe it is just a faulty power button. And I've been telling Lily, just keep pressing power button throughout the day. <laughs> so we'll see. Did you try taking the MOBO battery out? I didn't try that. No, I've never done that operation before. Um, I forgot MOBOs even have batteries until you said that. Um, but they do, don't they? Yeah. Uh, no, I haven't tried that. How long do they usually last for? That computer, I think, is like like five or six years old, I think. You can always show it depends if the power doesn't work. Oh, like I said, I tried that, but I, maybe I did it wrong. I put a screwdriver on it. Um, I looked up how to do it. I looked up what the pins were. Um, I'm pretty sure I got the right pins, and it didn't work. But maybe I didn't, maybe I didn't do it right. Anyway, let's start the game. All right, well, it's logged me out of Epic, so give me a second. I don't remember my epic password offhand, so I need to go in and get it. Maybe I have it around here somewhere. All right, let's not let's not type the password into uh, Twitch chat again. Uh, once a long time ago, years ago, I had I had a laptop downstairs that I would use, and one it had a monitor problem. For whatever reason, every time I started it, I would have to blindly hit like a function key in order for it to switch from the laptop monitor to the desktop monitor that I hooked up to it because the laptop monitor was broken. So I could not see anything on the laptop monitor. So what I and that and that and the laptop had a password, right? So the password, um, shit what's going on so so every time i started that laptop i would have to just blind type my password hope i got to desktop so the function keys would work so i could switch over to the monitors okay that's what i would do <laughs> one time i started the computer the laptop and it it wasn't a restart it was just in standby and discord was still open so i thinking i was in, uh, was on the login page and i couldn't do the f function trick yet typed in my password thinking I was on a login page, but really I was in Dragon's Den. <laughs> and I typed my laptop login password into Dragon's Den and hit enter. <laughs> now it's not a, it, it's a, it was a stupid small password, so who cares? Like I didn't use it for anything else, but, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. So I hope no one's I hope no one saw that. All right, I need to change my uh, my uh, sound one second. One time, even longer ago, I I went to Jad's 
and I wanted to see um, if anyone was, was had mentioned me or was talking about me or wanted an answer to a question. So I, I so I typed in to the search bar at the top. I typed in Joe, right? Misclicked. <laughs> Didn't click on it. Type Joe, hit enter. So Joseph Anderson says Joe in Dragon's Den. <laughs> and then I look at it and I'm like, shit, what do I do? And then I just typed in quickly, is here. <laughs> What's, up? <laughs> What's up? And I'm like, nailed it. Yay. Pass it off. No one knows. <laughs> 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 anyway, uh, should we continue and see what, what happens next? Where, do, where were we? I can't remember now. In one of my finer moments of oh yeah, all right. I swore to quit drinking. What is that noise? Okay, I want to say thank you to people before we get into the game, but this noise is kind of annoying. Let's let's uh, let's get through this. Pick up glasses. Uh, the good. sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. Who's laughing now? I wasn't sure I'd make it out there without some painkillers. The pills worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. Where's this alcoholism arc coming from? This feels like it's coming out of nowhere. Just a candle next to the bath? That's a pretty small bathtub for a place this nice, huh? With everything else out of proportion, too. Man, I wish we had a shower like this. I love these, like, walk-in showers. Those look so good. Is that a, a rainfall shower head? Is that what they're called? Those look really, really good. Anyway, let me say thank you to some people. Introducing stories on Twitch. Partners and affiliates who have had at least one stream in the last 30 days can post stories through the new Twitch mobile app feature. Learn more in our blog. Twitch seems kind of obsessed with making these new, like, esoteric features that I just hit X on. And do other streamers use them? Yes, yeah, sadly. Well, if their audience likes it, maybe, maybe it's just not for our kind. Make your bed. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. Golden guns. You have one new message. Ow! Are you still asleep? Wakey, wakey! You should have your show on your TiVo. If Alice wasn't too mad to record it, as she called me earlier and really chewed me out. Yeah, yeah, we went a little overboard last night. But parties are a part of this business. Ow, look, I'm saying this is your friend. She's not doing your career any favors by trying to run your life like that, okay? I'll talk to you later, Al. Watch the show. Whoa. Hmm. Hmm. I feel a bit misled from the last scene that we saw them together here and that their relationship was a lot stronger than it seems that they're they're going with now. Is I've that been a... a guest on the talk show the previous night, talking about my latest book. The show was supposed to be waiting for me on our TiVo. What's the opposite of walk-in showers? You mean you only have showers and bathtubs? Yeah, we we have a we have a bathtub, and the shower is the shower head is above, like way above the the faucet. Yeah, those are the only kind of um, showers that uh, I've ever had in all the places I've lived in my life. Coffee. Oh, the remote. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Harry. Show. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We have a great show tonight. I've been talking with the best-selling author, Alan Wake, about his new book, The Sudden Stop. Yeah, good read. Go buy it. No, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm going to be honest here. Is that wise? I haven't read it. No, but I'm going to do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. 
It was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with. Almost a book a year. Run, but it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. Ah, you departure. Bastard, always thinking of yourself. Well, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the lady. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No, nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. Well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good. Great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Is that Max Payne next to him? News a lot lately. Lots of parties and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Uh, you are famous for that temper. <laughs> well, I did also write several books. <laughs> Well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Same Ladies bit. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake. Once more, do the face for his Sam. There he is. And our musical guests, Poets of the Fall. Thank you, and good night. At least I've been funny. I told myself I could live with that. I didn't say anything stupid if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want an aspirin or something? Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. Where's this coming from? What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Let's go on vacation. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal. Then you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Okay, maybe Once it's just a, over, a little conflict. Together. Okay. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. Falls, the present day. Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. Why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. Uh, Good I, luck, Al. I don't understand that line. See you later. So this well-lit room was just to keep everything in that shoebox. When box. I got out, it was warm and sunny. I'd flicked the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I'd stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. Sam, I am the beach. Why didn't he just, like, why didn't Zane just write that the darkness can't get inside the shoebox? Alone, he doesn't need the well-lit room. In daylight, surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape. It was oh, hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this. Having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed, there would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. 
my course was set. Joe, do you find this game just a little bit dull? Yeah, um, the combat the gameplay overall brings it down, yeah. But I'm interested in the story. I'm curious where it goes. The fact that Wikipedia says that it's a cult classic and also there's a ton of people excited for the sequel make me think that it might have a good ending or that the DLC is good. I'm not sure. Something like that. There's some charm to it. Yeah, there's definitely some charm to it. It just... There, there is some stuff going on in the story, but unless it ends well, it feels kind of like Max Payne's story level of writing without Max Payne's gameplay. And Max Payne's gameplay is pretty good, you know? It, it, it's a one-trick pony, but, like, damn, is it a good trick. And this doesn't have that same trick. And that trick is the slow-mo. Specifically, the slow-mo dive. Like, it doesn't get old. This game is not built for streaming. Yeah. Some atmosphere games are like that. Hey, Lily. Coffee? Yeah. Thank you. Joe using the twang notification sound is by far the most 38 year old trade he has. 37. 37. Not 38 yet. Not 38 yet. I still got like two and a half weeks left. Thank you. Oh man, look at the resolution on that. Comfortable beds, clean rooms, wireless internet, laundry facilities, cable TV, and kitchenette in every room. I I hate the word kitchenette, luncheonette. I don't know why. I, I just hate it. Just say kitchen. Kitchenette. Oh. Oh, I hate that. It's it's a Scottish term in my head because that's what uh my my Scottish relatives used to call it. But it's not full catch. Yeah, I get it. I just don't like it. I just don't like it. What was I gonna say? Oh, so it's it's a it's a boomer trait to not have updated your notification sounds on your phone. I'm, th this is just the default. What it came with. That does sound kind of boomer. Yeah. Although boomers love their phones. The darkness had touched me. There was a link between us, always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. Okay, you know what? I think I could drive around this. Oh, that's totally doable. Just need some speed. All right, here we go. Is there a boost? <laughs> All right. Most young people have their phone on silent vibrate, I think. I usually have it on vibrate, too. I'll kill your wife. I, I like the twangs for, for stream. I need to get one of those stream decks and, um, and put Florence's song on it. Oh, you can miss. Okay, will stunning them do damage? This guy's got one bullet left of health, right? The Dark Presence was no longer trying to capture the Rider so he could create the ending it wanted. The Rider knew too much. He was too strong. And he carried a weapon left behind by Thomas Zane. Something that could hurt it. Now, the Darkness was doing everything in its power to simply stop the Rider from ever reaching Cauldron Lake and the dark place it came from. Where it came from. Uh, how did the how did the, the ringtone bit end? You ever found them? No, it, it's just gone from my phone. I don't understand. I don't understand how it happened. Yeah, they were just gone. I don't think did did I say some of the phone updated too or did it not? I can't remember exactly what happened. But yeah, they were just gone. I mean to ask, does the game kind of snap to the enemies or while you move the reticule if you're using the mouse, and the movement seems surprisingly snappy in a weird way? Um, I don't think it does big time. Maybe there's a little bit. There's, there's auto-aim, for sure. No, I don't think so. Maybe it is when you're shooting. Mm. How'd you like the cinematic slow dodges? Did it become tiresome at the time? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. I wish it had a little bit more. Maybe a parry? <laughs> jump button, hook shot, island grapple. Maybe some sections where you jump in an explosive barrel and you cannon your way over a, a big ravine. Finn has finished Super Mario Wonder, by the way. Much to my dismay, as Yoshi. Me and Leo have been making fun of him all day. Gasp, I know, right? Yoshi rules. Yoshi's good, but Yoshi's easy mode in the game. Child play on the easy mode. Hey, he's beat Norn Seen in the Smo! Based on the signature in the motel register, Agent Nightingale had stayed here, 
in room number two. He doesn't need it. All right, we're we gonna finally find out why Nightingale is after us. Refundable hundred dollar security deposit is required on all reservations. That's high. No personal checks accepted. We take all major credit cards and bank cards. Checkout time is 10 a.m. No loud music, no pets. Can't enforce no pets. I can bring my pet. What are you gonna do? Uh oh. This had obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. Oh, this is it? Okay. Look after yourself, Major Quarters. Could have fooled me. I think the best thing that the light system does is that it gives you something else to focus on that isn't just shooting. And it can feel a little tense sometimes to be like, oh, can I get the darkness like melted off this guy in time? And also, I like that if you hold it down for too long, you're punished. Because if you were too overzealous, now you're out of juice. Whereas if you focus and then stop right before, you still get some passive juice going while it recharges. That does, that does damage. Um, so I like that little part of the gameplay, but there's just not enough going on with it, unfortunately. I don't know, I don't really have any, like, like wish lists or suggestions, though, but there's just too much of it. What do you think of the story so far? I'm interested. I like the tone of it. It's been kind of funny, and sometimes it's been funny on purpose. Other times, I'm not sure. Um, I'm interested to see where it goes. The ending will decide a lot for me, I think. It usually does. New tech? Oh dear. Okay, why did, why did you cinematic pa Why did you cinematic pause me into taking that hit game? What the hell was that? Anyway, hold on one second. I need to put the, the AC on. Does daytime last literally five minutes in this game? Uh, this it's supernatural daytime. It was because we used the clicker. Don't ask me what the clicker does. Don't ask the writer what the clicker does either. It does whatever you want. Since it looks like we are ahead of schedule, are we playing American Nightmare? How long to beat says it's 4.5 hours long? Um, I will let chat decide what's the most important DLC, and we will we will do them in order. And if we have time for all of them, we have time for all of them. It won't take me too long to get uh, Alan Wake um, Steam version installed. Like, I have it bought already. Like... I can get that running pretty quickly, I think. What the hell? That's how it's gonna be, okay? All right, that's how it's gonna be, all right. Go faster or take it slow? Do you remember when you downloaded Final Fantasy 16? I think that's when your streams peaked. What, when we, when we interrupted another game to, to dunk on it by playing a different game? Man, Final Fantasy 16 was, uh... That story was not good. Okay, I think we have to go slow. Gameplay was pretty good, though. Do you know me, though? What's the worst game of the year for you? That we played this year, or that, or that came out this year? Life is Strange 2 was this year, wasn't it? Life is Strange 2 or Before the Storm is, is the worst game that I played this year. It was last year. Wasn't it in January? By the time we got through it, wasn't it January by then? Gollum? I think Life is Strange too. 
<laughs> is worse than Gollum. I, I don't know, man. Like that's that's a tough one. That's a tough one. If 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 we didn't do it this year, then Gollum, yeah, is probably the worst game. Yeah. Twelve minutes would also be a candidate. It's got to be Gollum because Gollum also came out this year, right? How happy Forspoken fans must be right now. Was that this year too? We played a lot this year. The King Kong game looks like a Seth po ship post. That game looks really bad. Hunt Down the Freeman was this year too, wasn't it? That we played it? Is Hunt Down the Freeman worse than Gollum? No? What's the only thing we stream that's worse than Gollum then, according to chat? Hello Neighbor? Did I just flashlight a guy to death? Life is Strange 2, yeah. Life is Strange 2 was really bad. Better question, is Hunt Down the Freeman better than Blue Shift? I, I don't think so, I think Blue Shift's better. It's hard to accurately judge Hunt Down the Freeman without the context of, of the Half-Life series. Uh, that makes it so much funnier. <laughs> It's also kind of awkward to diss it so bad because it has a lot of the Half-Life, like, setting and vibe. Like, weapons and stuff. A lot of the trimmings, yeah. But, it, yeah, it was pretty bad. Life is Strange 2 makes Nirvana Initiative look good. Nirvana Initiative was... It was okay. It really wasn't. It was an okay stream time. I don't think I would have enjoyed it on my own. But it was a, it was a good stream. It gets good 25 hours in. Oh, what the f- Alright, it's just over here. Alright. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Alright, follow the road. Did you play the American McGee's Alice games by any chance? I played one of them. And I watched one of my friends play the second one, I think. He was really into those games for some reason. I remember the Cheshire Cat saying a line in that game, what, which I thought was a pretty good line, uh, when you get a weapon, and he says, When is a croquet mallet like a billy club? Whenever you want it to be. Referencing the, uh, how is a raven like a riding desk? Because they both have quills. But I don't think I played it myself apart from the first one. Maybe I, maybe I didn't even play the first one all the way through. Were they good? How do they hold up? Have you played Quantum Break? I have not played Quant Quantum Break, no. I heard it was, like, okay. Too bad we don't have more time. We could have done the whole remedy, like, play along. Done, done everything for Alan too. Stupid Witcher. It's okay, we'll do it for Alan Wake 3. God damn, the, the knife guys, man. Shit, wrong button. No! Yeah, calculated. Are you streaming the Game Awards this year? Yes. The bottom of Cauldron Lake was a graveyard of things the lake had claimed in one way or another over the decades. The dark presence brought them up in its wake, scattering the rotten waterlogged hull of an old boat here. The remains of a long ago crashed airplane there. Trees shattered under the impacts. The earth groaned. It didn't even notice. Even if I'm on so like on break during doing video work, I will I will come back just for the street, the, the game awards. Yeah. You make videos? 
Equals cacti you chatter. Okay, so it's over there to the right, but what's down here? Is that a page? It is a page. What you do with Tears of the Kingdom wins? Tears of the Kingdom is not the worst one that could win, okay? Worst one that could win to me. Final Fantasy 16. I, I, I'm assuming of the big ones that get nominated. Like, like the worst one that could win is Gollum. It's like, why did Gollum get nominated? Okay, worst one that could win that would like, like permanently damage how I view the whole entire industry. Final Fantasy 16 of the big games. After that, Starfield. Starfield second worst. You know, after that, Tears of the Kingdom. Maybe I don't know. I, I would be like, yeah, whatever. If if Starfield, if Starfield won game of the year at, at jeff's show i will think that bethesda had mr and mrs money truck show up to pay for it if if um final Fantasy 16 wins i won't think conspiratorial thoughts but i will be angry <laughs> tears of the king that would be like yeah whatever like in the end barry wasn't going to shoot sarah they both knew that once she had no chance of catching up to wake Barry gave up the gun and sat down on the floor, shielding his face from the merciless glare of the well-lit room. I don't think I'm ever going to see him again, he said in a weak voice. Sarah didn't have it in her to be mad at him. Besides, he was probably right. Uh-oh. Starfield is great. Yeah, but it's game of the year, not 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 great game that came out this year. Game of the year. Is, is, is it game of the year great? Game of the year great? Will it, though? I think Jedi Survivor is better than all of those games. Lies of P should win. Do you think Lies of P will even get nominated? I'll be surprised if Spider-Man 2 gets nominated. Uh, never mind um, Lies of P. But then again, I'd be really surprised if Spider-Man 2 get nominated because it's a movie. So it's like, like, god damn, why would, why would an old movie be nominated? It's, it's a game show. Um, Baldur's Gate 3 is my guess for what's going to take it. I think Baldur's Gate 3 is going to take it. You already got minus 2 for this bit. Stop digging. What bit? You have to be more specific. Resident Evil 4 Remake is another contender, I think. But has a remake ever won? Hi-Fi Rush is still my game of the year. Do I have a game for you? It's called Lies of P. Hi-Fi Rush is pretty good. I wonder if Hi-Fi Rush is more replayable than Lies of P. I mean, I replayed Lies of P more than, than Hi-Fi Rush, but... Hmm. Lies of P is more my jam, I think. Okay, 18 shotgun rounds, and it's the old shotgun. Yeah, let's let's switch to hunting rifle until we find shotgun too. How do you think Starfield compares to Fallout 4 now that you finished it? Fallout 4 is better in almost every way than Starfield. Things that Starfield does better than Fallout 4. Uh, parts of the world that are curated feel like they had more thought put into what the characters would do and how they would live and exist there than Fallout 4 did, although Fallout 4 did do much better in that regard than Fallout 3. Um, side quests, side quest writing for the side side quests, not the main side quests, so like the faction quests writing has been pretty bad so far from what I've seen, but some of the other side quest writing has actually been pretty good, especially compared to Fallout 3 and Bethesda's base. Um, and the dungeons, like like the uh, facilities you find that are the equivalent of the bandit camps and everything, um, have been pretty good too. Have been fairly large. There's been a lot going on. Um, combat is better and worse. Combat is worse because the AI just doesn't work in Starfield. Like often you will just see enemies just zipping around the place because they don't because their pathfinding is bugged. It's really frustrating. Um, but combat is also better because the weapons just feel better to use. There's there's more variety. It looks pretty cool too. I was surprised by how much I liked a lot of the weapons when I started trying them. Um, and also the jetpack is a lot more fun for moving around. Uh, so, you know, it, it has some improvements, but overall Fallout 4 is better. Got it. Starfield hurts more than Fallout 4 because there's way more potential for a fantastic game with Starfield skeleton than Fallout 4's. Like, Starfield could have been so much better than it is. I know you could say that for any, any, any game, but there's so much freedom in Starfield's concept compared to Fallout 4's, and almost none of it is realized. Like, the fact that it's it went bigger with scale and, and everything, and it still has that fucked up, like, Skyrim and Fallout 4 
economy, you know? They should have leaned more into it being like a life sim, I think. If that makes sense. Does that make sense? Oh, what's this area? This isn't a forest. Uh-oh. Alright, let's park a bunch of cars and leave the cars running with the lights on to, to burn this immediately. Can I drive this? No, I'm not Ashley. God damn it. Starfield is odd that in that I don't think mods can save it. The game just does not seem to lean into what mods can do compared with Skyrim. Of course, we'll see that. Yeah, I don't think mods can save it either. There were a lot of Bethesda bug moments in, in Starfield where I went to a place and it felt like it was building up to some story or some conclusion. And then it went nowhere. And I would spend like sometimes 10, 20, 30 minutes like like doing the perimeter walk you do in games sometimes when you're sure you've missed a room or scanning every single place for like there must be a terminal I've missed or a door I've missed or or like a corpse with an audio lock like like what like come on like gotta be something here and then at the end like no this was it it just it just went nowhere you know it's uh it's weird Thomas Zane's last Zane dive cut its heart out but it didn't die the thing that wore Barbara's face kept crooning sweet nothings sugar laced with poison he put on the suit, untied the monster from the chair. The thing in his arms thrashed weakly, but he held fast. He stepped outside, off the pier, and into the dark <clears> water. A sinking pinprick of light descending toward a bottom that never came. Uh-oh. Your words are a giant insult to every, every one of the four NPCs in Starfield cities. There is more people than that. Their cities are way better than, um, than the other ones. It, it's not as bad as Diamond City, where there are more there are more store owners than customers. Like like Diamond, and, and then again, Diamond City was also a step up from from Megaton. You know, like they they do they do have sorry they've gotten a little better at that, but it's still not good enough. They need to, Bethesda, and this is a common thing that a lot of devs need to learn. Um, maybe I need to learn it too when it when it comes to the points that I make in some of my videos is that they need to learn how to give the impression of something instead of trying to make the whole thing on a smaller scale and it ends up just falling flat on its face like New Atlantis is is a joke when you look at it from afar and you're like what that's the whole city but if they had made it a, con a constrained play area and given you just like a district of the city to explore and given you the impression of a huge sprawling metropolis on this on this world then that then that would have been way better and they could have sold it um even with their their tech level that they're going for and then they say well then you don't have the freedom to leave and it's like yeah but who the fuck wants to there's nothing out there there's no fucking benefit to even like walking out of new atlantis and walking around what the fuck like like the citadel of mass effect yeah I mean, the citadel, citadel of mass effect is a, is a really uh really good example yeah citadel Remember how you actually thought you could go outside the ship without space suit, not realizing it, not realizing it's a bug? Classic Bethesda's bug. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, wait, what? What's going on here? Is it just decorative? That was funny. That was a fun time. Starfield streams ended up being better than I thought they were going to be. I knew it. Is it only charge that will beat this guy? Do we go back up and hit the button now? You can see the literal square around all cities beyond which it was all proc gen. I don't know how they had almost zero imagination to make you feel better. Yeah. It, I don't know what the goal is. I don't know what they're trying to do. No, it's not up here. I don't know what they're trying to do. As I was playing it by myself, I just I just kept being struck by that thought over and over and over again. Like, like why make this game? Will you ever play Final Fantasy XV? I really want you to experience the big ass... Venice money hole money hole um, maybe I don't know I would like I one of my uh, pipe dream um, stream events or stream uh, series I could do is playing every Final Fantasy game not in a row we take breaks but going through the whole entire series and seeing how it progresses I think that could be fun same with Zelda too I'd like to do it with Zelda but I don't know if I'll ever do it we have too much to do Final Fantasy Fridays Friday fantasy like, in my memory, Final Fantasy VI is still one of my favorite games of all time. It might even be my favorite game of all time. Um, 
And I wonder if it holds up. I'm gonna guess no. When I told Barry my plan back in the well-lit room, I'd acted as if I knew what I was doing. I didn't. I was operating on the shifting logic of a dream. I had to fight my way to the lake through the horrors of the night. I had to flick an old battered light switch imbued with childhood magic. I had to write a happy ending to a horror story. I had to save my wife from the dark prison she was being held in. Hmm. Horror stories can't have happy endings. They can only have compromises. A sacrifice. Hmm. One of the weirdest and frustrating experiences I've ever had with the game um, was when I was in my 20s and I got a Nintendo DS and I bought the Nintendo DS port of Chrono Trigger. And I played Chrono Trigger, and it was the this was the only time I had ever played a different version of Chrono Trigger. I, I had played the uh, the Super Nintendo version before, and that was it. And the Nintendo DS version had a different translation. And I just remember being so fucked off just because it was different. I, I had I had no capacity to to, to judge this. If, oh, thank you, Charlie Chan. Uh, no capacity to judge if it was better or worse or not, or why I didn't like it. I just didn't like it because it was different. And as I got through it toward the end, I actually somehow managed to convince myself, you know what, you're not being reasonable right here. Just because it's different doesn't mean that it's worse. You know, you're not judging this fairly. And I never got to a point where I, I decided which translation was better, but, you know, th that's how I pulled myself back. <laughs> and that's it, you know? Um, and I still don't know which one I would prefer overall. Sideshow Bob Break Stepping Ass Plank. Yeah. Set up by uh, Charlie Chan. I only ever played the DS one. I remember they kept referring to, uh, to Magus as... Um, as something like, like like Dark Lord something, so, some sort of title like that, and they never did that in the Super Nintendo game. There was a specific title that they gave him, and I remember being like, oh, "What the fuck? What is this for? This is completely different," and just really, um, really irritated me. And then as it went on, I'm like, I had to like ask myself, like, why are you irritated? It's just because it's different, you know? Like, eternal disagreements. Joe versus Joe. Thank you, Electric Company, for the shotgun. All right, pump action shotgun I think might be better than the hunting rifle. And we only have eight bullets. Let's see, do we have more for the, of this? 28. Oh, yeah, that's definitely better. How much is Stephen King is in Alan Wake? Um, I would say not that much. Alan Wake is kind of a Stephen King-ish character. Best-selling writer, but still has kind of like an everyman quality to him. Do you think this game overuses the screaming sound effect quite a bit? I, I agree with that. Bigly, yep. We can get chainsawed in the back right now. Oh, okay, we're done. Cool. I could see Mirror Peak in the distance. That's where Cauldron Lake was. I already have to pee chat. We're an hour in. Eh, that's not too bad. I wonder if Final Fantasy VI has a different translation too, and I wonder which one of those is better. Do you hate Final Fantasy XVI? No, I don't hate it. The story I might hate. I hate's a pretty strong word. Um, but I don't hate the game. The gameplay was actually pretty good. Not enough enemy variety, and I wish there was another weapon, but uh, the gameplay was pretty good. I even wrote a little script for, for uh, as a quick teak, as I, as I was calling for Final Fantasy XVI, where I ended up praising the gameplay quite a bit. And uh, I think I got like two, three thousand words into it. And then I realized I would have to play the whole entire game again to make the quick teak, and then it wouldn't be quick anymore. So I was like, ah, fuck it, I'm not doing this. Maybe one day. What game do you think had the most potential but squandered it? Starfield. Uh. uh oh. That's a hard question. That's a really hard question. Like, are we talking about concepts? 
budget budget and concept put together like like an easy answer would be no man's sky that like people in chat are saying it too spore i never played spore so i don't know how bad that was like no man's sky but like the budget of no man what did what was the budget of no man's sky really like like who knows whereas starfield is kind of like no man's sky and also had like more budget than todd um so that's a lot of missed potential there um tears of the kingdom <laughs> this is <laughs> like recency bias though I unironically think Baldur's Gate 3 has so much potential but comes just shy of reaching a masterpiece. Ooh. Baldur's Gate 3, just shy of a masterpiece. Starfield, a potential masterpiece. Final Fantasy 16, a disaster piece. Life is strange to you. Pretty far away from a masterpiece. <laughs> the opposite of a masterpiece. That's big Kate doing this little piggy to, uh, to me vibes. Where she forgets what the line's supposed to be. So she goes, this, this little piggy went to the market. And then next toe, she's like, and and this little piggy didn't do that. <laughs> Any interest in the Shin Megami Tenzi games? No. Maybe I will let them go through on the vote now, maybe. I don't know. Last voting game, they were vetoed. Based, why, by the way? To piss off the weebs, specifically. Is the game too loud, by the way, or is it okay? I'm going to turn it down a little bit for me. Persona wins again. Yeah, I don't understand why they keep making more Shin Megami Tenzi 5s when they have Persona. It's one of the rare times that uh, the, the, uh, the spin-off doesn't go anywhere. They should just stick with the original. Do, 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 do. Can we break this ammunition crate? No. Any interest in the new Persona 5 spin-off game next month? Is that the Tactics one? Um, no, not really, but if it has a good story with those characters, I really like the Persona 5 crew. I'm surprised that I, I like it so much. Uh, if they're going to have character interactions and a, and a fun story with that with those characters and in, in a, like, faithful, tasteful way, um, I would pretty much play any game with them in it. Same with the, the Persona 4 crew, but I think I prefer the Persona 5 group more than the 4 group. Like, it's not like I, I enjoy Persona 5's gameplay, so, you know, it was already a compromise for me. P3 crew, better than P5 crew, better than P4 crew. Really? The P3 crew's good? Hmm. Can't wait to play it someday. With Waffles sat upon. Owned. Oh, that worked out well. Kanji versus, or Kanji versus, uh, Yusuke. As, as a person, or as a character for entertainment value? As a person, Kanji. As, as a character for entertainment value, I gotta go with, with the GOAT. Like, Yusuke is, again, sorry to quote myself, but, like, just a goldmine of awkward shit. Like, he, he's just amazing. I fell in love with Yusuke the moment he got off the station one station, uh, the, off the train one station early to save money. Like, it's just, just <laughs> it's such an amazing line. Like, yeah, like, like Yusuke is just so good, so entertaining, but he's kind of a prick. Yeah. Shit. Whereas Kanji is entertaining as well, but. Um, he's not as entertaining as Yusuke, but he's also not a prick. Oh, why is that on fire?
The amount of times you'll have to say, say the line, Joe, in Persona 5 Royal is daunting. Yeah, uh, I'm a little... Like, uh, daunted is the best word for it. Yeah, I'm a little daunted. I'm dreading the most when the teacher shows up for the first time. <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna break fucking Twitch chat with the amount of people spamming eat her ass. Uh. <laughs> Sorry if you're new, by the way. Don't know what we're talking about. It makes sense in context. It's a, it's a very tasteful joke. How much of your online persona do your friends and family know about? Do you think you are too different in real life? Um, obviously I'm a little different in real life because in real life, well, out, real life, away from keyboard. Um, obviously I'm not uh, I'm not talking like out loud to myself as I go about my daily life most of the time. I do talk to myself a fair amount, but nothing like this. Um, but most of my personality, what you see on stream, is 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 what I am like outside of stream as well. Lily can attest to that. Uh, I'm I'm pretty pretty frank, pretty sarcastic. Uh, I don't think I'm an asshole most of the time. I can be an asshole. I can have um, I can be a little petty. I can be a bit mean. I can be a bit grumpy. But overall, I think I'm a pretty nice person. Um, shit. But how my brain works with responding to things and 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 like. Ripping off Chad is how I usually am all the time. And how my family and friends know, uh, I only have one friend, and... Uh, I don't know, I haven't really spoken to him about that before. He knew me long before I, I became this, so I think it's weird for him. Um, and I don't have any family. The only family I have is, is, is my wife and my kids. That's why we have so many kids, is because we don't have any family. That's family. yeah, but I think what they were asking for was extended family. I don't think they want to know like what do what do your kids think about you know the streaming thing? Uh, well, maybe they did. My, my kids are too young to understand it. The boys think it's cooler that uh, like we're making a game rather than I stream games or make videos. In my opinion, for for main cast, Persona Two, Persona Five. There's a Persona Two, over four. I did not play one, and I don't remember three well enough. Huh. That's a big power gap between power Persona 5 and 4 there. Niagas. He, he, he keeps glancing to and from chat to see if he said it right. Did I say it right? I don't know. The darkness, where is her face? 4 has kanji, but I get the vibe that every character in 4 fucking hates each other. In Persona 5, they seem like friends. I think Persona 4 starts off with the crew interacting more without you being around, but as it goes on, it's like you're the glue that holds everything together, you know? You're, you're the syrup holding all the waffles together in the stack. Um, Persona 5, I feel like it starts out like that, and then as it goes on, I think the, the crew wants to be friends more. Is that a fair estimate? Hmm, I don't know. I don't remember 5 all that clearly, I guess. I remember enjoying that distinctly, or I distinctly remember feeling that way in Persona 4 early on with Chie and, uh, I can't remember her name, Classmate, uh, Chie and Classmate, um, were, uh, they, they were, had a relationship beforehand, and they were friends, and they would talk even if they weren't part of the crew, you know, and I liked that quite a lot, um, whereas I didn't feel like that any, anyone else had that relationship in Persona 5 except for maybe Ryuji and On, and even then it was pretty strained. Yukiko? Is that some weird nickname for Yusuke people have uh, thought of? Yusuke Akanji? I just- I just answered that- oh shit! I just answered that a little- a little bit ago. As a character for entertainment value, definitely Yusuke, but as like a person, um, Kanji. If you want your social social sim characters to have interaction regardless of the MC presence, boy, are you gonna love Fire Emblem? Well, I, the, the problem is though with Fire Emblem, 
I believe you that it happens, but the characters have to be good. And that looks like high tier enemy bullshit, so I don't think it's gonna be something I enjoy. Whereas Persona somehow catches lightning in a bottle multiple times and the characters are, are pretty good. What's your favorite character from any game? Francis York Morgan. I don't know. I don't know what my favorite character from any game is. Blue's Clues or Teletubbies? Probably Blue's Clues. But the kids watch neither. After Zane had gone, I stood alone in the shifting dream that was the dark place. I had to find a way to the cabin. I'd written myself a way through this place in the manuscript. I followed the idea of a path. I'd written myself across the ocean that blocked my way, and with that, there was a bridge to the island beyond. The idea of the cabin flickered in the underwater darkness. I willed the cabin to be real, and it was. Hmm. Okay. How far does this power go? Do you like Frog? Glenn? Yeah. Such a Canadian name. Uh, yeah. I like Frog. Probably not my favorite character, though. Turn back now. Who's your favorite? Oh, in Chrono Trigger? Frog might be my favorite in Chrono Trigger, but the question was who's my favorite character in all games. Uh, it's between Frog and, uh, and Magus. Or is it, is it Magus or, or Magus? I, I always called it Magus. Magus is a really interesting character to me in Chrono Trigger. I might prefer him over, uh, over Frog. Well, I'm having fun. Would you ever dress up as a Teletubby? I'll do pretty much anything for $20, yeah? Would you eat ass for $20? I mean, usually I don't have to pay. I guess it depends on who it is. Oh shit, okay, they're gone. I think that bugged out. Do as you're told. I really need to pee chat. How close are we? 40 minutes still? Right, maybe I can make it to like an hour 40. Has never loved you. Okay, they need to stop doing that. Why? Jump scare checkpoint? That looks cool. What's your plan for Friday, Boulder? Are you going to be watching the stream, or are you going to be playing the game, or are you going to, like, play the game before I start the stream so you're ahead of me, or how's that going to go? You can't win. Pick up flare gun ammo. Oh. Am I doing this right? You will fail. Oh, she's there. You're making this up. Yeah, of course. Oh, sh <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted there. What if I wasn't using the flare gun? <gasps> oh. 
almost as good as the Resident Evil 4 remake box, final boss. I mean, it took more hits. Hell. Uh, hell. Shh, baby. You were having a bad dream. It was just another nightmare. No. Everything's fine. You're home. It wasn't a dream. Everything's fine. Turn the lights on. Turn the lights on! Baby, why are you all wet? Shh, baby. The power's out. There's no light. Come back to bed and I'll make you forget all about your fear in the dark. My fear? It's your fear. Why aren't you afraid? You're not Alice. Turn the lights on now. Where's the clicker? What did you do with it? Alan, honey, you're still one foot in a dream. You're not making any sense. Come back to bed. Damn, Joe. It's a, it's what he says in Shutter Island. It's a Shutter Island line. And she was, like, weirdly sweaty. It's not the fall into water that kills you. It's the humidity. Yep. Mm -hmm. Find the clicker. Alan? Oh, man. You're scaring me now. Come back to bed. Have you taken your pills? Do you want me to call Dr. Hartman? I read your manuscript. It's brilliant. Departure is your best work yet. You're a genius. I'm so proud of you. Come back to bed. We'll talk more about it in the morning. Slay the princess. Gonna find the clicker. The magic clicker. Oh, there Come it is! Come back to bed, Alan. <gasps> Come back to bed, Tom. Uh-oh. <sighs> I'm clicking on her. All right. <laughs> this guy's so weird. You must find your way to the cabin. It stands in your way. It won't let you pass. It has no heart. It's filled with darkness. You must fill its heart with light. But it has no heart, you just said. Hey. Don't mind him, he's Mr. S Your friends will meet him when you're gone. Mr. Scratch. I, uh... Alright game, what are we doing? Shopping cart. Pa okay, this is cool. Phone bird barrel. Bird. Thermos. Yeah. All right, I can't make any more. This is kind of atmospheric. Take a break early. Five minutes. Be right back. Trolley. Oh, where's the trolley? Trolley. Be right back. Five minutes. Take a break early. Gotta pee. If you could take a pill and it would make it so you would you wouldn't have to piss anymore, would you take it? Yeah. What about like other bodily functions? Like, I guess in I would say oh you don't have to eat anymore and you won't feel hungry, but you might miss the pleasure of eating. Hmm. Sleep would be a big one. Like, would you take a pill and you won't have to sleep anymore? Bird. Pass. I followed the idea of a path. Oh. What's this? Uh oh. Electric pole. I see it. All right. I'm leaving you. What? I'm leaving you, Alan. I met someone. I'm in love with someone else. Alice? No. What do you say? You can't. You don't love me. How could you? You don't even love yourself. All you do is torture yourself with work you can't do anymore. No, I, I love you more than anything in the world. You're, you're my muse. I'm not. Who are you? What have you done with my Alice? She's not Alice? amused. What are you doing? Put the light back on. What are you doing, Alice? Stop. Put the light back on. 
It wasn't true. Nothing like that had ever happened. Hmm, did it? I'd ridden myself across the ocean. Very surprised people would happily trade away the need to sleep. It's a lot of time that you save. For me, sleep is a, a big problem in my life, and I would miss it, even though it is a big problem, but I still think I would trade it away, just to solve the problem. But it's not that sleep is a hassle for me in general, it's sleep is especially a hassle for me. Tom, let me go. I promise to be good. Please, untie me, you naughty boy. I will help you write your masterpiece. I will love you forever. What? No, you're not Barbara Jagger. I made a terrible mistake. I should have never written you back. You came back wrong. Your heart is filled with darkness. Put that knife away, Thomas. Put it down. My heart is filled with darkness. I'll, I'll cut it out. Oh! Oh! I'll take you back to the depths you came from. That's very Stephen King. Someone coming back wrong. Filled with darkness. Filled with darkness. Heart of darkness. Should have made you uh type the words here, like typing of the dead. Oh. Get away from me, you hag! Where am I? Let me go! Alice! Alice! I'm coming! I will Your husband refused to do as he was told. All he had to do was write what I wanted him to write. Now it's too late. It's his fault. You'll stay here forever. She's got a point. Sleep is incredibly important to you, for you biologically. It's part of how our bodies work. Yeah, but it's it's a uh, it's a hypothetical. It's just uh, if if you could just you know take a pill or whatever and clap clap that needs gone. Like, would you do it? I am much older than you. Older than your first work of art. I will find a new face to wear. Uh, someone else to dream me free. Is that, is that the end? It's not the end, is it? I guess it could be the end. I could feel Alice's presence close by. I understood what I had to do now. I knew how to write the ending to Departure. There's light and there's darkness. Cause and effect. There's guilt and there's atonement. But the scales always need to balance. Everything has a price. That's where Zane had gone wrong. There's a long journey through the night back into the light. What about the mummy? <laughs> now we play as Alice. Oh, 
Uh, in pretty good swimming form for someone who's, you know, about to drown. That's why she was all wet, okay. Alan? Alan? Poets of the Fall Time. Oh dear diner! Oh, it's the deer fest! Alright, so everyone was fine? Who the hell are you? Yeah... Who's that guy in the window? Oh, it's Nightingale! It's not a lake. It's an ocean. Alan, wake up. What? What, what really? This is not Space Odyssey, is it? No. Oh my god. <laughs> Major Tom Zane? I love this song. Well, I can't talk at all, so I'm just gonna let this play because, um, this is not making it into the VOD. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Say your name real quick. I don't have to, the game has already. It's in here, man. I called it the sudden stop, it was foreshadowing all the time. Why am I talking? It's not gonna make it into the fucking game. <laughs> You've really made the gray. Yeah. Alice. I'm starting to think if there's ever a character in a game that has the name Alice, that it's just not going to end well. All right. Plus two's in the chat. YouTube will never see it. Plus two's. Can I skip? Yes. No. Oh, I can. All right. Unable to log into Epic Online Services. Please check your connection and restart. Oh, it's going. It's breaking the fourth wall. Really? I thought that was like, oh, god damn. All right. Um. I don't think this was very good, chat. Sorry. I, I, uh, is this going to be Silent Hill 2 all over again? I don't think this was very good. It wasn't horrible. I don't think this was very good. It kind of just, just ended out of nowhere. I'm surprised. I thought it was going to have a bigger ass at the end there, you know, especially given the name of the game. Like, is what does the DLC do? If you're watching on YouTube, I might have had to just cut out the whole entire credits. And just so you know, we had a lot of banger discussion and a lot of plus twos, a lot of jokes. It was really funny. Uh, I said my real name. I'm really surprised. Huh. Maybe I would have liked it more if I played it when it came out. It has, it has quite a bit of character. Cool atmosphere, cool vibe. I like the framing writing part of it. But the gameplay was a slog. The story kind of just ended out of nowhere. I feel like he was getting good at the end there and they just kind of end. So it really is Stephen King. Hmm. I guess it's not over. The second one's coming out. But is the second one going to be a continuation? Or is it going to be a, a new story with the same kind of character? Is he just writing a story? Is he trying to write his way out, maybe? <laughs> Does he know? 
<laughs> Chat filling up with, with smiley faces and does he know question marks for a game that isn't even out yet. Uh, I'm surprised you guys didn't do that. Um, Slay the Princess. No, we're, good. we're doing Alan Wake DLC. Alan Wake DLC. Watch the uh, Alan Wake 2 trailer. No, I'm good. I'm, I'm just gonna... We'll just play it on Friday. I, I, I've already forgotten the trailer. Except for... The only thing I remember the Alan Wake 2 trailer is that you're playing someone who isn't Alan Wake. And you go into, like, this house and then some weird deer person comes out and you shoot them. And it looked pretty good. The, the graphics look pretty good. That's it. Can you summarize the plot? Uh... There exists a special lake in this town of Bright Falls that's not a lake, it's an ocean. Who knows what that means? And this is a special conduit to some supernatural power that we don't know that can interact with creativity, kind of like a muse making things become real. And at some point in the past, a writer named Thomas Zane lived there with his wife Barbara and Barbara died from something. I don't know what. Maybe the game told me I forgot. And then Thomas Zane wrote her back to save her, but she came back wrong. And through that process, he then had to write more and more in order to try and fix everything. And in the process, deleted himself from history. And there was a volcanic eruption that blew up the island that we're looking at right now, which probably was a, a part of his fucking with the timeline. And then he also wrote Alan Wake's existence too? In some way? And then we come here years later and we're in the same in the same dark powers trying to use us to write reality differently to their own ends. And we don't make the same mistake that Thomas Zane did. Instead we, we realize or Alan Wake realized that change has to come with sacrifice for it to be baked in for it not to come with like a like a monkey's paw curled kind of like oh but no you can't have everything you want so he he sacrifices himself he writes his own way out um as he's writing for the dark force and then he wrote the story that was him getting back here to finish the story and when he finished the story he sacrificed himself for 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 his wife and that's it right and it seems like alice pops out of the river on the day that this all went down and the week that we just experienced just didn't happen right that's my read on it is that she popped out like a couple minutes after falling in the lake or is it she popped out a week later i don't know i feel like i feel like the whole week didn't happen there's definitely some time travel shenanigans going on or time fuckery going on maybe not time travel but time fuckery with with things happening uh out of order or past change the past changing a bit it's very De death strandian isn't it <laughs> <laughs> Sinister laugh. All the lakes of tar lead to the ocean. It is kind of Death stranding Yeah, I agree. The DLC included Alan Wake Remastered are the only truly required ones. They're a direct episode 7 and 8 continuation of the story. 7. Were, weren't we on episode 5? When did we get to episode 6? When did that happen? After you got the clicker? Oh. Oh, my brain thought that the episode titled The Clicker was the one where we got the clicker. Um... Sorry, it was after we got the clicker, but it wasn't. It, that was the one where it ended we got the clicker. Okay, so we're on episode 6. Okay, so we have special the signal and writer. Okay, so here's all the DLC that we have to play chat. And chat can, like, I don't know if we want to do a vote or if people in chat who have played these games want to tell me what's order of importance. So, there's the signal and the writer together. Then there's American Nightmare, which I have to download the version on Steam for, which I'm perfectly willing to do. And then there's the Control DLC. Which of these is the most important, and which of these is the least important? Balder hasn't even played the Alan Wakes? What, what plot twist is this? Control DLC is actually pretty cool, but is cool is is fine, but is it important for the sequel on 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 Friday? The same plot twist every time. I know Balder just caved me. He caved my car. What the hell? It's the most relevant since it was written while Alan Two was in planning Alan Wake 2 was in planning uh the control one maybe we should do the control one then folding it let's see um s plus w plus control dlc just signal plus rider american nightmare all of the above okay it seems like american nightmare is the least important all right let's do these two then and then we'll do control dlc tomorrow and if we have time we'll do american nightmare all right that's what we'll do okay that's what we'll do that sound good to everybody Good, good. American Nightmare is set before the Control DLC, though. Let's... What day is it? It's Wednesday, right? It is Wednesday, my dudes? Yeah, it's Wednesday. Alright, let's put it this way. If we finish these two today, 
Then we'll do American Nightmare and the Control DLC tomorrow. How long is the Control DLC? Do you still have your save for Control? I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe. maybe? Oh, God. Okay. You know what? We, we Deadline. 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 Let's go. Deadline. Deadline. Yeah. Yeah. Previously on Alan Wake, something I only know as the Dark Presence held my wife captive and used her to make me write a horror story oh, that came true. I'll bring her back. Some part uh, of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Alan? I saved Alice and wrote a better ending for the story. But not without a price. I was trapped somewhere in the dark place. A strange zone somewhere beyond our world. It's, it's not a lake. It's an ocean. Dark place. Oh, he's God now. All right. Now we're just going to talk to people through After TVs. the completion of any difficult undertaking, there are mixed emotions. Accomplishment and relief. Sadness. Depression. For a while, everything was about the work. Like an illness that consumed you. Changed you. You locked yourself away from the world to do it, and now you need to recover. Learn to live without it. Find a way to crack open the door and let the light back in. I knew this place. It was familiar. This is gonna be two hours of acid re reuse bullshit, isn't it? Here we go. Welcome to the. Yep. Everything had a surreal, dreamlike quality. What was the cutout for? I had a disturbing feeling of deja vu. I had no idea why I was here or where I had been before this moment. But something was waiting for me at the back of the diner. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Next up here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Him and me both. Are you staying Do long? me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. <laughs> Number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. It's the same game, but glitched like Starfield. <laughs> Man, they should make the Starfield DLC then, where it's not glitched. Don't go in there, gentlemen. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Oh, we can go in this time. Interesting. Oh, man, this is like breaking out of balance. Oh, a mirror TV. That's neat. Alan, listen to me. Go no <laughs> deeper. <laughs> focus. You're losing yourself. <laughs> I will try to help the best I can. No it's deeper, Alan. Find a better point of contact. What do you mean? I cannot hear you. Please, you're the one making all this happen. Concentrate. This is what's happening. Nightmares. Too deep. Can't take the pressure. It's too much. Suddenly, Wake found himself face to face with himself. Uh -oh. At the sight of myself, the dream suddenly became lucid. The dark place. That's where I was. You will need weapons. For what? It's and not the light itself, but what it represents. You will need it. Can't we think of something better? This is not a gun. It is a tool in a logical process of elimination. Be careful. I will try to find a better point of contact. Okay. I didn't understand Zane's message, and knowing where I was didn't fix anything. Something had gone wrong after I had finished departure. Who's Mira? I wonder if departure is going to be a book that's released in uh, in the sequel. This is just a nightmare, huh? Imagine having to stand next to someone MP like this with this huge fucking trough urinal. Like, no thank you. Single use urinal only, please. Like, like, like oh my god. Uh, what the hell was that? Oh. Day had become night. The diner had become deserted. Then the door was smashed off his hinges and Wake had to fight for his life. 
You know what? Chat's right. We do talk about piss a lot. How many thermoses did we get, by the way? Okay, I don't know if we could have just ran out, but I want to see what was in here. Collectible alarm clock, one out of ten. Oh, we're that guy in that in that uh, night falls bit now. Oh, we did have to go through here. Okay. Zane, wait for me. Ooh. Oh, neat. All right, I like this. Oh, the this this is my twisted. bullshit. These trees didn't belong here. Oh, more forests though. All right, never mind. I finished reading Cash Me Too recently, and I really loved it. Thanks for recommending it. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. I'm always nervous when I recommend uh, something. Especially books for some reason. I'm glad you liked it. Some people have to read it for school and they hate it forever and I, I totally get it. It gets really good a thousand words in. I knew it was my writing, but the words were jumbled dreamlike fragments. Reloading frantically. The rounds of just a stone's throw away from the tent. The bed looked inviting, but it was just the radio. She was startled by the phone. Okay, so this episode is what I was expecting the game to continue the on with afterwards. So I I, I'm digging it. That. Hello? I'm trying to reach you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? About your car's warranty. Yes. Listen, I can help you, but you're drifting deeper. I can't reach you. You must come to me. I can't maintain the connection. Use the words. Follow the signal. How many Harry, po Harry Potter books does it one have to read no before deciding the GPS it's not worth your time? Work. Just a couple tweets, I doubt isn't it? any satellite was in range here. These were alien skies, but it was guiding me towards something. Towards Zane? Flashlight. Yeah, heavy duty. Flare gun. Hmm. Would it be possible to make a game where you had keywords and you could type in keywords in order to make things happen because you have some limited amount of control of the environment around you? I feel like that s sounds like a cool idea, but I think it would be very hard to make work. Scribble. Oh yeah, there is a game like Scribble, isn't it? But that's more of a like a fun puzzly kind of game, not like an action game like this. I didn't play it though. Something had shifted again. The dark place was playing tricks on me. It wouldn't stay still. What do you think is the average amount of books read this year per chatter? Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to guess it's going to be in the single digits. It, it might even be as low as one. For There's going to be a lot of people that haven't read any books this year, but for every person like that, there's there's going to... Every, like, ten people like that, there's going to be one person who's read, like, 25 or something. Some people are really, like, voracious readers. Um, so, like, I don't know. But it could be as low as one. Poll? Yeah, it might be an interesting poll if people want to do it. I, like, I mean, I think I only read one book this year, and I love reading. I just don't have the time. Neat. What's your opinion on people who do the 365 books in 365 days? Uh, they're just posturing. You can't process that amount of uh, amount of books in that amount of time. Police was playing tricks on me. It wouldn't stay still. Books need more respect than that, unless you're reading like 50 page books. One a week is more realistic. One a week is a pretty good pace, I think. Yeah, one a week is, is really, really good. I'm supposed to do this, so just run through.
I read it in a single 18 hour car ride and it was a horrible mistake. I haven't read it. I hear the ending is kind of yikes. Unnecessary. But I've also heard some people say no, it can make sense. But I don't know. Have you played Viewfinder? I have not, no. Everything sexual these days is labeled unnecessary. I'm not that prudish. I think maybe I'm a little bit of a prude, actually, which I don't like about myself, but maybe I'm a little bit of a prude. This is not one of those cases, I think, where it's like, oh, it's unnecessary because it's sexual. There's, I don't want to say what it is because it's a spoiler and also it's because it's kind of gross, but everything I've heard about that is like, like, no, I don't, I can't imagine the story actually needed a scene like that, but maybe it does. I don't know. I haven't read it. Everything I saw was familiar, and yet it wasn't. Favorite Final Fantasy VI character? Probably Sabin or Cyan, or both of them together. My favorite part of the game is when, uh, early on, when the, the party is split into three camps uh, after the raft, and you have Sabin's, like, like Odyssey. I, that's my favorite part of the whole game. So because, because of that, I, I love... Um, though that whole storyline with those characters so pro probably those two even though Sabin's kind of a himbo you're going too deep i will try to guide you follow the signal i'm trying you must face yourself follow me. why don't you give the game signalis a chance you probably got a few suggestions damn it's it's coming back it's been so long the, the nostalgia system was supposed to lead me to zane but the shifts were interfering with it i had to keep trying I wouldn't survive alone. Please pause and click statistics so they can resolve uh, G J A S B bets. Uh, sure. Where is it? There you go. Oh, we found a lot of thermoses. Seventy. It's more than I thought. Do, 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 do. Did you play Final Fantasy VII Remake? And are you excited for re Rebirth? I did not play it. No. I would like to though. Pentiment, please. We're on. Uh, we're on stream break mostly for the right now. Sorry. Uh, the only thing you might get out of me right now is is, is a quick uh, slay the princess run. But I feel a little eh about streaming that because it's so story heavy. So I don't know. We miss a TV show, and a radio show. The changes were becoming more violent. The street wasn't so much ripped apart as it was missing. Like some great hand had reached down and sculpted it. Everything felt erratic, unstable. What platform did you play Final Fantasy VI? Super Nintendo, the, the original release uh, in the West. I still have it. It's in a shoebox across the uh, the room for me. Sarah Breaker, that's neat. Bright Falls is finest. The red hot cop chick with the lightning fast boomstick. Her de debut book, The Only Girl in the Bookhouse, delves deep into the double life of having a successful law enforcement career while being involved in a secret society. How does Daddy's Little Trooper fit into an old fashioned fraternity? Alright, I'm liking this so far. Did someone da say Daddy? Hey, Daddy Jizzies, how's it going? Uh, thank you for the resub, Professor Asker. Professor Asker here. For getting out a sub. Did you enjoy the uh, Hypnospace theme chapter titles for uh, in the description VODs on YouTube, by the way? What was the result of the poll for how many books did you read in 2023? What do you specifically like about books or what makes books a special medium in your eyes? 35% read zero, mostly zero, then four plus. Okay, yeah. So pretty, pretty sharp on either end, okay. Um, I get immersed in, in books more than anything else. You can really lose yourself to a book. You can lose yourself to a game, but that's more of a gameplay flow state. It's a different kind of thing than a story. It's pretty rare that I, immerse, that I get lost in a game in that same way. Oh my god. I mean, oh my god. Uh, books also have the have obviously very strong authorial presence. Um, they have a distinct voice most of the time, 
and that makes it stand out quite a bit from having you know different actors in a movie even though the director might have a have a strong idea what they want to do um it's an inherently collaborative experience uh some games are are made by one person but usually they they also because you, it's a visual format it's not the same as like having someone talk directly into your head through your eyes as you're reading right um you can just kind of you get a, a, a better sense of the kind of person that you're following along uh, with that. It's not impossible in other formats, but that, that's how I feel. Um, and also books have uh, no budget constraints. Like, I say this in the Witcher 3 video, I've almost asked Merrick, I've almost commissioned uh, art for, for Merrick for this bit a few times, and I keep going back and forth on it. <laughs> he doesn't know this, actually, I've never brought this up to him, um, that uh, b books don't have a budget. You know, like, you you can say whatever you want. You The, the scale can go as big as you want, and it doesn't matter. It's always going to be this, the cost of per word on per page is going to be the same, you know? Um, but yeah, so I think those are the three main ones that make it stand out. Oh, uh, another one would be like the, the writing this is going to sound a little cringe, but there's a certain amount of prestige with writing that it's, it's seen as a, like a, a higher form of art, which I don't necessarily agree with, but it, because it's, it's, it's old, I feel like it, it can get away for lack of a better phrase, get away with more mature explorations that in other media might be like, kind of like, like, whoa, especially because it doesn't have, um, uh, like actual people depicting certain things, you know, uh, some really far out things can happen in books. I guess it's linked to the budget thing as well, right? Alan. Alan. Where are you? Look, I I'm trying to follow your goddamn signal. The dark place is playing tricks on you. You're still going deep. I'm trying to guide you, but it's hard. What is this? I can help you if you just stop sinking. What? This is bullshit. It's happening again. Brace yourself. Stop thinking. <laughs> I was running after Zane, and he was telling me I was going too deep. It was ridiculous, but I was more scared than amused. I felt like I was being hindered by an unseen force in ways I couldn't fight. All I could do was keep going. Um, I'm not surprised that a lot of people don't read, though, and I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. I know a lot of people who are my age or older s say, you know, reading is the best thing you can do. Um, but I think that there's a lot you can gain from, from TV, movies, music, and video games as well. Um, reading tends to have this, this kind of, again, that prestige level to it that on some parts I agree with, but not always. I don't think it's, it's the same with like, oh, like you go back a couple decades, thank you, Lily, and you'll have people saying stuff like, oh, you've, you've never read all this classic literature, and it's like... Well, yeah, back then you had nothing to fucking do. Like, like, like of course you fucking... Like, you, didn't, you didn't have fucking five million new video um, movies coming all the time. YouTube in your feed, video games, like, music. Like, yeah, of course you read it all. You had nothing to fucking do. Like, even, even in the world of books, there, there's so, so much more that you can have, you know? So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised that reading has fallen by the wayside a little bit. Um, reading is also a little difficult. It requires active attention from you most of the time uh and it's not always fun in the way that video games are and also demand active attention from you i'm going the wrong way audiobooks is where is that where it's at i'd like to get into audiobooks i read homestuck and umineko at the same time and you survived no wonder your name keeps changing The chopper. I feel like there's a difficulty curve to reading. In my in my opinion, a lot of people bounce off reading books because they pick a 400 page uh, book to start with. And then also related to this is someone asking above, any suggestions on how to go about finding books to read? I, I struggle with this because book synopsis is the same in the same genre. All tend to sound very similar to me. Yeah, so um, I, I agree that there's a difficulty curve, but also think that you just need to have a couple of good books in a row to get you into it. So uh, most people usually have something they really like that they enjoyed when they were young. If you didn't have that experience, you're kind of missing out. And also, you know, your parents did you a disservice, but, or you just got unlucky. Um, I would usually recommend um, the books by this guy named Joseph Anderson on uh, on Amazon. They're really good, really easy. So, you know, genre light fiction. No, um, go find a movie that you like um, and 
look at some of the books. A lot of movie, a lot of movies are based on books that you might not even know. Uh, Fight Club is one that some people find surprising. Uh, yeah, F uh, Fight Club is based on a book. Um, what was the one that we spoke about recently that e even I didn't know was based on a book? I was surprised. I got that experience. Fuck, what was it? There was a movie, and we're talking about it. Fuck. Ar Arrival! Yeah, Arrival. It, Arrival's based on a book. It's based on a short story, isn't it? Um, I didn't know that Arrival was based on a, on a short story. Maybe maybe it's that one. Um, j find a movie that you like, and then read the book, and most... Nine, nine times out of ten, you will find that the book was better. So, uh, Jurassic Park. Read Jurassic Park. Um, maybe you'll really like reading Jurassic Park. You know... The, the, Think of like 10, 20 movies that you really enjoy and go and see how many of those are based on books and then pick like, you know, one or two of those that are your, you think would be the, the most interesting to you to read and then see if you can get into reading that way. That's what I would say. I remember this. This happened before we found Barry. The Android Stream Electric Sheep. That's Blade Runner, right? Blade Runner is based on that. Also a short story, a novella. I just watched the Starfield VOD where uh, we talked about Arrival. Arrival was a really good movie. Um, Merrick and Balder, cover your ears. You know, I, I don't want to lead you astray again with a bad sci-fi, uh, you know, suggestion. Uh, but yeah, Arrival is a really good movie. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. I want to read the book that um, Annihilation is based on because I liked the movie, but I didn't love it. And I think maybe I would love the book more or I, I could love the book. I hear the, the other books after that aren't as good, though. But I did watch it after your suggestion, remember? Did, did you watch Arrival? Did you like it, Merrick? Wakes pathetic memories of the Wonder Years and the contrary little boy pretending he didn't miss his father he never knew. He surged up and beat Wake down. Larry grounds and slides, eager to cave in his head. Arrival is a 7.5 out of 10 for me. Um, yeah. Morbing. Oh, yeah, the Morbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Charlie Chan. 7.5 out of 10 for Arrival is, per is a decent score, I think. Yeah. I think I would rate a little higher than that for me, but I, I can accept 7.5. Curious what you didn't like about Annihilation? Part of it was too far-fetched for me and unbelievable. I won't say what part. And secondly, um, it has the same problem that a lot of sci-fi fiction has, uh, especially TV and movies, in that um, it stopped just as it was getting to the most interesting part, I thought. I've harped on about this a little too much, so I don't know if I want to repeat the whole the whole spiel again, but basically my take on a lot of um, sci-fi movies especially is that they're structured like short stories and they don't have third acts. I, again, I talk about this in the Witcher 3 video. Because <laughs> that's my criticism for a lot of the side quests in that game too. Um, it's uh, like a lot of short story structure that um, they they get to they have an act one they have an act two and at the end of act two in most three act three act structure stories act two is when the big shakeup happens and you're like whoa what the hell where does this go and then at the end of it it's like it doesn't you know kind of like what this game just did it kind of it kind of ended like at the end of what act two should have been IMO and then and now we're doing the DLC which is kind of continuing it so I guess we'll see where it goes but it's just like like wait what where's where's the rest it's ending just as it's getting interesting please I would like to know more um yeah that's that's You're my right take right. on a lot of uh, sci-fi movies and Annihilation fits it so does uh Ex Machina so does the movie Coherence De decent movies like have a lot going for them but um the same problem oh I'm dead is the Witcher 3 video just your manifest at this point? Yep, I have a lot of grievances with the world, and you motherfuckers are gonna hear about it. The key to get the door open. Investigate the flare. Ever read The Shadow Over Innsmouth? There's a short story with some proper structure. I have, yeah, I have read that. I thought it was good. It, it, um, it got better as it went along. I thought it was interesting. But the prose was a bit dry for me, and I didn't want to read any more Lovecraft after that. I think I would like it more now. Actually, maybe I wouldn't. Maybe I've gotten more impatient as I've gotten older. I don't know. Have you read anything by Ursula K. Le Guin? Le Guin? The Earthsea? I have not, no. It's been brought up a couple times before. I would like to, definitely. Slay the Princess earlier. Have you played it? Is it good? I haven't played it, no. I just saw the trailer. I showed it to Lily earlier and she liked it too. She thought it was a little scary though. 
And then I told her, but, you know, it's a game. And she's like, oh, okay, I'm not scared anymore. Last thing on writing, at least uh, I think it's going to be last thing unless people want to continue talking about it. Don't feel like if you get into, into uh, sorry, reading. Uh, don't feel like if you get into books that you have to go back and read fucking Charles Dickens or whatever. You should though. Charles Dickens is a fucking banger. Like, oh my god. But, but you don't you don't have to go and read all those fucking stuffy classics and I have to read fucking Moby Dick and all this other shit. You, like, you can just read contemporary fiction forever. Like, you, you don't have to do this shit. You can pick and choose. Like... Don't let anyone, like, tell you otherwise. Like, oh my god, you haven't read that? What the fuck? Like, like no. The world was... It was changing. Twisting. Out of control. It was too big on the inside. He couldn't see the ceiling. Something was... Control? Broken. He was lost. He couldn't find the exit. Asshole. So this is Wake versus Wake right now, right? He has a lot of power and he can't control it. It's kind of like he's in the movie The Sphere, and it's like, be careful what you think, because you might make it reality, and it's very hard to control your thoughts. The shifts were getting more severe. I wasn't sure if the place got bigger, or I got smaller. The signal was gone. I would have to find my way out of it on my own. The book The Sphere was so good. Ah, oh, see, there's an O. I didn't know that was based on a book. I saw the movie when I was really young, and I barely remember it, but I do remember the end. I thought the end was pretty good. Alan knows he's small. There's a there's a, a pretty dirty joke there that I'm gonna spare you all from. It's a dirty joke lunchable, you can do it yourself. Are these one use only? Oh, I thought I was being too quick there. How did you just tank that? Alright, see, this is cool. This sort of thing should have been in in the base game really early on. Experimenting with environmental stuff that you can point the flashlight at. This is neat. I like this. You know what other game finally starts to experiment with its gameplay and should have done it sooner on instead of that? Witcher 3. Read about it more. Is a good story that com is a good story that commercially important? What do you mean? Most of the time, I hear people saying X thing has a good story when they mean good character writing. Yeah, a lot of people. I would actually, I would say, I want to say everyone, but I'm gonna avoid the extreme. Almost Zane everyone. Me a page. He was trying to help me. They don't actually say what they want to say. Like language and communication is always going to be a translation, and and like when a lot myself too, you know, always, almost always all the time, uh, you when people say stuff like that, yeah, oh, it's got a good story. Oh, well, what do you mean? Oh, well, it's got good dialogue. It's got a good character. It has one character in it that I liked a lot and I related to, and therefore I think it's good writing. And it has a good story, and then you watch it, and it's like the expense season one. All right, you know that's that's yeah for sure. Um. But because everyone does it, it's really hard to nail down what people will even mean, even when it comes to, like, broad discussions like this. Howza! Very. Hey, hey, bestseller! Looking good! You, you, you're not real. Well, no shit. What gave me away? What, the see-through thing? I'm a figment of your imagination. Just like pretty much everything else you see here. Maybe even you. That's insane. Yeah, you're right. Everything that happened before made perfect sense, but this is insane. Good catch, Al. Okay. Okay, look, I gotta get going. The GPS... The GPS, yeah, I know. Follow the signal. Got it. Can't stop the signal, Al. What do you consider be good writing? I just know it when so, I see it. So, anywho, I'm here to help you. The thing is, you need to get a grip. Alright? You nag the way the real Barry does. You know that? Well, hey, you know, be fair. It's not my fault you think I'm annoying. I don't think you're annoying. Ow, baby, relax, it's cool. Just try to stay on the ball here. You need to do what Zane tells you. He's been here for ages, he's like the expert. What I consider to be good writing would be a very difficult thing to nail down. Anyway, if this is insane, and at, and at the end of it, it would just come back to, I just, I just don't want to see it. I can tell from the pixels and having seen many shops in my, t in my time. 
I love this, but yeah, it's pretty good. I, I like it too. Uh, last thing, and then we'll play the game. So someone said, "What's going to be the most controversial part of the uh, of the Witcher Three video?" It's going to be the gameplay part, where I say all of this was was made before the remaster came out. So you're just going to have to sit for an hour before we get to the part that I made afterwards, because this is how the base game worked, and you just have to remember that. And now we're going to go to how the game works right now, because I'm not remaking this bit. Fuck that. That's going to be the most controversial part. Uh, the side quest part is probably going to be the most controversial, I think. Although there might be one part that that tops that somewhere earlier on your mind what's that say about you fine enough i can't believe i was actually happy to see you <laughs> oh come on don't shit a shitter al deep down you're always happy to see me can't lie to yourself know what i'm saying i must be a sucker for punishment you no really and i always thought you went out of your way to avoid trouble thanks thanks for that Oh, did we get a conversation early down here because we moved up a little bit? Hmm. Is there a 20 minute Yakuza comparison? I do talk about Yakuza in the Witcher 3 video. Well, Shimano chatter. I do. At the end of the, of the uh, Novigrad section, or some say Novigrad. I think the signal's pointing towards that thing in the distance. Yeah, that'd be the Biltmore Sawmill. How the hell do you know that? I don't know anything you don't. So why don't you ask yourself that? Huh? Mm -hmm. Maybe you saw a sign for it back in the real world, or maybe it's the sawmill, because I said it's the sawmill, and now you can't get it out of your head. Ah. Fantastic. Yeah, sure has given me a headache. Or is that your headache? Do you have a headache? Very. Dude, we're bonding. This is my bullshit, man. This is my bullshit. All right, the game got me back now. After the the kind of like lame ending, the game got me back. Hope this goes well. Hope there's more of this in the sequel. This is my bullshit. Boom. Woo, mama. Hey, how? I guess the pen is my ear. If you complete that sentence, you're fired. <laughs> Mightier than the sword. <laughs> you're fired. You're fired. Oh, I could have just boomed them! God damn it. Wait, the game is done? Is this DLC? Yeah, this is DLC, but it seems like just a continuation of the base game. Again, on honestly, so far it feels like, hey, we didn't have the budget to finish the game, so the DLC is just, hey, here's the ending. It's a direct continuation. Thoughts? Someone, someone asked something else? Hold on one second. Is Fido in the Witcher 3 video? She is not. But, you know, there's still time. Uh oh, I tapped out. Alright, we're good. Do you have a Netflix deal for the Witcher 3 video by now? That would be cool. One of my favorite jokes in, in Le Rick and Morty is when Morty is like writing uh, some TV scripts and Rick makes a joke like the way Netflix is going I'm worried you might actually get it <laughs> so yeah, yeah we're good. <laughs> oh we died shit do you think there's gonna be a point where more than 50% of your main channel video video jokes will be stream references no um I try to make the stream references in as unobtrusive as possible like when I say useless just making the screen go grayscale um Making the reference something that sounds maybe a little strange, but still is like a part, natural part of what I'm saying. There have been a few times where I've like done Yusuke voice outright or something, and it just sound, I just sound like I'm crazy. But you know, it's, it's not too bad so yet, uh, so far. There is a stream joke in the Witcher 3 video that I've gone back and forth on cutting a lot. I can't get the delivery right on it, so that's why. It's not going well, chat. It's not going well.
I just got here. This game's still boring. We're in DLC now, and it's and it's picked up a bit. Oh no! Oh, we did it. Turret, friendly turret, light turret. Oh, of course. Ah. Is the joke Steinsgate related? No. You know, you're gonna have to make your way across here. I think the institution probably has something to do with those words. Really? You think? Yeah! You should probably use them. It's great it's vegetables related. Oh, I know. But it's not great vegetables. Well, I'm having fun. I'm not saying anything you haven't come up with first. Figment, remember? <laughs> this kind of thing could drive a man insane. No! This is great! And it's probably therapeutic for you, too! Cynthia Weaver, the Lady of the Light. A cloud of gloom in the well-lit room, so saith Mr. Stewart. Weaver's difficult and uncompromising life is illuminated in Cynthia Weaver, carrying the torch, an enlightening and occasionally <laughs> uh, occasionally harrowing biography by Ellen Adams, who was an intern at the Bright Falls Record uh, under Weaver's editorship. On your stream tier list, where you put Liza P, as as a game or as streams, as streams, I think it was probably Great Vegetables. Maybe if you if you like seeing me enjoy a game for change and it was unique, uh, maybe it might be cream, but I don't think so. I think it's probably great vegetables. Um, as a game, it's one of the best games we ever streamed. I love Liza P. Growing more fond of it as time passes. This is it. Nothing else. Huh. Are we gonna have to do a yearly refresh of that tier list? By the way. It's cream. I'm fond of the uh, the gif of um, someone dragging the 12 minutes into into a cream of the crop category for some reason. It's it's so fucking like ostentatious for like fucking uh, for 12 minutes and also the uh, the stream ranking. Do it for 200 followers. We got 200 followers. Uh oh. Wait, hold on. Just just don't point at anything. Oh, this is neat. I like this. This is good. Tools. Wow, come on. Wait, you tools can be, be enemies. Those are bad words. <laughs> bad words. Oh, they're. <laughs> All right. What the, what does this kind of thing say about gaming chat? Because this is not. This is far from the only game that has this base game just like middling in its ideas and then dlc comes out and just immediately you see that they took feedback they saw what worked and everything like that and they expanded on ideas that they that they that they thought of and and uh and definitely took notes from people who played the game right why can't they do that during testing is it just that they that they don't fucking like give a shit about testers feedback because surely the testers saw that too right like is it just everything is just too locked in um, at that point and they can't do anything or what? Is testing just isn't happening enough as the game is, is being produced? I don't think the testers have an input on this kind of stuff. Well, I, there's two different kinds of testers, right? There's 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 testers that are like, oh, try and find glitches, whatever. And there's people who are like going to be playing the game being like, here's why I like, here's why I don't like. That That's an important part of the process too. Maybe that just doesn't happen that much. Maybe it's just developers all the time. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Sounds like your second season dis discussion on TV. On an infinity time scale, do we eventually stop talking about the expense? <laughs> no. <laughs> the earth shook. Street lights pushed themselves up to the ground, flickering madly and spitting spark. In the shadows wake saw far too many figures advancing eagerly, already tasting the kill. 
Joe, within a day after release, there's more testing done than any professional testing do. Oh yeah, for sure, of course, yeah. But I think that scales more even on like technical testing, right? When it comes to gameplay testing, I feel like part of the process it has to be. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm wrong. I would love to be able to just shadow a bunch of game dev studios for a while. Oh, I would love that. I would get so much good information from that. Like, the game I'm making, I, I play my own game a lot and be like, okay, what would work, what would not work, how does this feel? Like, like a lot, all the time, you know? Like, um, it's all I do. No, not that much. Um, I actually haven't played it for a while. Um, so that's that's a, a big part of my process. But I also do that with everything. When, when I write something, I, I read it back a lot. When, when I'm making videos, I watch it back a lot as I make it. I do, I do a lot of, of tinkering and, and checking as I go. Is that unusual? I don't think that's unusual, is it? Maybe it's too hard to do on a big team? Hmm. It was of myself before, but not like this. The version of myself I saw now sounded insane. Like a demented storyteller who was out to torment and destroy his protagonist. Sorry, I'm talking over like the, the most, like, best part of the game so far. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm able to follow two at the same time, but, um... I feel a bit rude. Maybe we should stop talking. Okay, but this I like is just to talk. too weird. You're weird. This is cool. Very. What is the fuck? Is really coming out of my head? That's just the way this place is, Al. All that random stuff in your head? Imagination can be the enemy here. But you're from my imagination. Yeah, yeah. You know what, Al? Do yourself a favor. Don't pursue that train of thought any further. Ooh. Oh shit. It's like a Dark Souls level. It's like... Oh, it flickers before it comes on. Power infrastructure is a very strong aesthetic. I would even say it's powerful, since it's something that's ever that's ever present in the modern world, yet only there because it has to. Well, that's an interesting observation. Tor Anderson, the God of Thunder, the boozing geezer with the anger and the hammer. Come one, come all. Face the age of murder and storm. Discovered by Barry Wheeler, this fresh new voice from a bygone era suggests new and innovative, innovative, fucking hell, solutions to old problems. Innovative. Don't you dare leave your bookstore without the best-selling self-help book, You're All Nails to Me. <laughs> Forward by Barry Wheeler. That's a great title. You need to get that door open before you can get into the warehouse. That's the way forward. If I'm making this up, why is it so complicated? Because you're a complicated man, and no one understands you. But I'm talking... Barry. This reminds me, the other, the other week I had a dream that I, cause I was, I watched some of those, um, college humor, now whatever it is, dropout or whatever. Um, so, some of those, some of those shorts a while back. Uh, I think his name, is his name Brendan or whatever? People, the D&D &D guy. I think people are going to know what I'm talking about. Brennan, Brennan, okay. I saw a bunch of those, right? And I had a dream. He was in it. And they were doing a skit. And the skit was so funny that I that I was like, God damn it, this is so good. I wish I had thought of it. It's so funny. It's so funny. And then I woke up and then I realized, well, it was a dream. I had thought of it because <laughs> it was my dream. So so it's like I made it. And then I'm I'm sitting there and I'm like, you know what? It wasn't that funny. <laughs> and now I can't remember what it was. <laughs> Tell us, I, I can't remember. I should have written it down. <laughs> you need to get that door open before you can get into the warehouse. That's the way forward. If I'm making this up, why is it so complicated? Because you're a complicated man, and Fit no one bail. understands you. But I'm talking. Very... Ooh. I went to the zoo the other day. I wish I remembered. 
I didn't. I didn't say because I wanted to say the bit. I, I want to say because because this is ringing true to me. Oh, there's, there's, there's two of them getting out of hand. If you listen to feedback and it turns out to be bad feedback, you might be triple fucked. On top of this, often your gripes can come from people taking feedback, but pivoting poorly. It takes a lot of foresight to navigate this well, unless your testing sample size is gigantic. Hmm. Again, I would like to see what the process is like. How big of an internal testing team would you need before you would be willing to, to, to trust it? I guess it depends. Also depends on who's on the team, right? Have you seen Drum Scan? I was the final vote to activate it, okay? Lily came and asked me, it was like, hey, you need to vote on this thing. And I was like, you know what? I'm for it. And she was like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Valve partially use, uh, utilizes his friends and family, so at least as large as, as your development team. Oh, damn. Nice one. Nice one. Valve, I think, does it well. Yeah. I think Valve shows that they, they iterate and explore ideas quite well. Yeah. But is that like they have enough people, or is it just they have they have good people? You know, hmm. Valve also doesn't make that many games, so well, is that because they don't want to, or is it because of their development process being like too freeform for a while? I think they changed that now, or is it because they got you know stuck on being a store instead of a game dev studio? Like who knows with Valve? It's hard to hard to judge. Oh, it's me, Gabe Newell. Favorite poly matrix? Um. Probably reloaded. Revelations is not that great. The first one's too obvious. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go with the shotgun still. Thank you. I am seething. <laughs> Dalmec for gifting a sub to Anal Wake. There we go. They said it. They said it. Thank you, Dalmec. Memory. Remember who you Hey, what are you up to? I thought this was my side of the bed. <laughs> Well, that's it! That's great! Holy shit! That's so good! Dude, sex again! Aw, oh, dude! He entered the trap, surrounded by enemies. We get nowhere to run. I'm so sick. I don't get it. My read on that joke was that everything is so far has been like you, you pointed at it and then it just plops down some disposable like here's a tool, here's an enemy, here's a boom, whatever, you know? So even even the even the story bit memory that you would usually get in these kind of games is there and you shine it and then it's just plopped down here you go, just a little tidbit. That that that's that's my read. That's why I found it funny at least. I love little uh, things that the ghost people say. Yeah, I feel like the DLC is leaning into that mood a bit more with how the levels are, and I like it. I'm doing everything in my power to make you continue to back. You don't, you don't have to convince me. You have to convince Lily, okay? I only stopped because I was like, I think Lily would like this. I will wait and watch this with Lily. And let me tell you, historically, that means I never see that show ever again as long as I live, okay? That's, that's the only reason. I watched the first episode and I was like, I think Lily would really like this. I will wait. That's so sad. Hey, campaign Lily. We watched the first episode of The Americans like fucking like nine and a half years ago. I'm still waiting. Still two seasons of The Good Place. I don't even know how we got through that. Oh, that's haven't finished season now, one of, of you. No, no, it isn't. Americans is crap. I wouldn't know, Cheddar. Uh, whoa, 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 why, why are you immune? Owned. Not owned. You is the funniest shit, so weird and dumb. I, I love it for, it's, it's definitely a comedy, right? I, 
I wasn't, I didn't expect it to be a comedy, but oh my god, the shit that guy does is just, it's like, it's, he thinks he's so cool and smooth, and the framing of the show also kind of goes along with that, but you see through it and you realize that it's actually not like a, a thriller show, it's more of a comedy, just like he's more of a screw up, and I, I just love it for that. I wonder if it keeps going with that. Don't get me wrong, it has some serious moments, it's not, it's not always like that. Um, oh man, I, I, I love that show, it was so funny. Oh, Heavy Duty Lantern, damn. Favorite philosophical implication of Godel's inc incompleteness theorems? I don't have a fully formulated answer for that just yet, sorry. Wait, so it's like American Psycho? I haven't seen American Psycho, much to my uh, embarrassment, sorry. I know, right? There's a lot of movies you could say, hey, do you like that? And I would say, I haven't seen it. I was I was in my 30s before I saw Die Hard 1. Or was I late 20s? No, it must have been late 20s because it was before Finn was born. And I've still only seen Die Hard 1 and 2. American Psycho is also a book, is it not? I hear it's a good one too. Brett Easton Ellis, or am I getting it? It is him, isn't it? Oppenheimer or Barbie, haven't seen either. Favorite, fave Austin Powers movie. My favorite scene of Austin Powers is the opening of the third movie, which I saw in theaters and it was not spoiled. So I had no idea that was about to happen and I loved every second of the first scene of the third movie. So that's my favorite scene. Um, favorite movie, I haven't seen them in a long time and I've only seen them like once or twice growing up. It's probably going to be the second one. I think the second one is... is uh, is the best one. But I would like to see them again as an adult. Wait, you were in your 30s? How old are you? I'm 37. So I was, when, when I was in my 30s, still am, but that's how old I was when I saw Die Hard 1. But maybe I was 28 or 29. I've never seen a lethal weapon. I have seen all of the Alien movies, but I don't really remember them. Why is everyone so mean to Joe? Because I'm the streamer. Streamer gets bullied. You're not even really there. There is a limit to the bullying, though. Are you gonna play on Nightmare for the extra manuscript pages? Nope. Sorry for the bullying yesterday. I felt bad about it afterwards. Honestly, Merrick, I don't want to be awkward. You were getting to me a little bit yesterday, but it's okay. It's cool. All forgiven. Don't worry. Wait, what happened yesterday? We had a, we had a, a math question. It never goes well. He hates Merrick now. I can never hate Merrick. I love Merrick so much. It's the people that love that you love that can get to you the most. I want Team Joe now. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? What was the question? We're not, I don't want to do this again. <laughs> Stop it. They're waiting for us downstairs. We don't have time for Alan. I knew she was away, but she still made my heart ache. I had saved Alice, but I wasn't even sure when that happened. Was it days ago? Weeks? Longer? I had no way of knowing. Oh man, what a wonderful moment. What a wonderful moment. By the way, just, just to make it absolutely crystal clear from yesterday, okay? All right? I did not plan or set that up at all with the Deadly Premonition music. I was legit gone, c completely confused when I came back. I can't believe how well the music lined up with that. What a fucking, another happy moment yesterday. Holy shit, how did that work out? The music morphed. Sure, it really didn't. Honest to God, I don't even think I could have set that up if I if I tried. I would have fucked up the timer. <laughs> I was really like, how how could I have set that up? I would have to know the music was gonna Whoa, was gonna break. I would have to know when it would still come back on, even though I'm gone. Like uh, like even though it's it, it broke, it's gonna it's going to like uh, whatever. I'd have to have pre played it. I would have to know exactly how the music would loop. Like 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 fucking hell. Charlie Chan? What? The... 
nyctophobic or nyctophobic beauty with the muse horrific booty the soothing oasis in a seething crisis the renowned and award-winning photographer's new coffee table book features intensely personal and intimate images from a life haunted by a husband who was never there writer's muse pre-orders accepted now all right so i don't know if i sh if i should say this because maybe it might be come across as a little as a little mean and who am i to judge like like anyone's appearance but i, I am curious did they intention is it that it's uncanny valley or did they intentionally make her look like an older woman that's had too much fillers and botox she looks kind of odd do you know what i mean like like she is like her cheekbones are just so artificially pronounced right and i just wonder is it just is does she just look like that because you know 3d models just look awkward sometimes and then someone with the with with the remaster she looked much weirder in the original okay maybe if i see the, the, the original i could be able to tell better damn joe is aging hey i got i got nothing against people getting fillers and botox and everything like that you you do you man like it's it's fine it's just that some people can take it a bit too far if i can afford it and it would work and i go fully bald i would absolutely get hair plugs i don't give a fuck i want to have hair i would absolutely do it in a heartbeat so like i'm not like judging anybody but it can go too far favorite couchy principal value how do you think of these questions i don't know i don't know what that is i'm sorry oh uh... You got as many plus twos from the bit you weren't there for as you did from the Star Starfield finale bit. You know what? I, I I was there. I was there, and I it was intentional. It was a completely intentional bit, and I uh, I planned it, and I deserve all the credit. Um, I yeah, I I'm glad you all enjoyed it. It took a lot of setup. Uh, it's pretty much all I was doing uh, during the break from the last stream to this one, actually. Um, so I, I hope it was worth it. A, a lot of plus twos. It was definitely worth it for me, but I don't know if it was worth it for you. <laughs> Hair transplant works pretty well these days. But do I personally have to kill the person after they find the match? Or um, do you get someone to do that for you? Is that part of the price? The hair won't work until you kill the original. <laughs> the hairline of uh, Dorian Gray. Do you remember Alan's original face? He doesn't look uh, chadly like he does now. I don't remember the original that well. I have, I did play the original a little bit. If we play American Nightmare, I guess we'll see it. Hey, lover, come here. I've got something for you. Is it Alice? I could only hope that Alice was all right. I didn't know what happened to her after she left the dark place. <laughs> what? What's going on? Zane, is that you? Did we just drop? Uh-oh. Hey, hold that pose. That was a good one. Like this? Yeah, but smile a little more. No, that's too much. You want to look mysterious. Maybe a little tough. You know how people go for those dangerous bad boys. Yeah. But I'm not dangerous. Oh, come on. You write about terrible things all the time. People want to think that you're intimately familiar with them. You kill Casey in this book. You need to look a little bit like a murderer. Oh, that's good. Do that again. You look handsome. And dangerous. You know, I wasn't sure about the beard before, but I was wrong. It looks good on you. Okay, I think we're done. Great. I want to get out of this suit. Hey, things what? are looking up. <laughs> Guess danger is sexy. <laughs> Wait, what? That was when I was still working. When I felt like a real writer instead of a fraud. What was looking was up? A good memory. I wished I hadn't seen it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think he's wearing a suit in the promotional cutout, but they didn't make a model of the suit. Yeah, it seems like it was. Yeah. But what was what was looking up? Uh-oh. Oh, we're here. Have you ever seen Twin Peaks? I have not, no. I'd like to, though. Alan, you made it. This area of the dark place is calmer, at least for the time being. 
We can talk here, but we don't have much time. Max Payne? How do I get out of here? That's what you face. That's you, even as we speak. Darkness. Darkness coming! Swept him away. Lost! He knew. He knew! He couldn't hold on. He knew there was no way out. Oh! No! I'm right here! Oh, going wrong. That's not me! It's wrong. just... I don't know, an echo! That's I'm not me! The dark no, presence! The dark presence is not responsible for this. You are making this happen. You're trapped in your own nightmares. You are fighting yourself. Ooh, shotgun ammo. Wake didn't understand it. He would never make it. He would never wake up. He'd get swallowed up in the rising tide of darkness. It was coming. It was coming. Shut up! Gah! No, Alan, you must be. Swept away by the gathering insanity. Zane was gone. Wake could feel the pressure gnawing at his mind. The darkness wasn't so bad. It was in him. He felt it. He knew the voice spoke the truth. It was just too hard to think. He can't. Couldn't make sense of it. Couldn't. He wanted to go with the flow. Stop thinking and just let go. Oh, okay. So is this because he, he has some amount of self-loathing or can't control his own thoughts? Or is it, did he oversteer into the sacrificial part of the of the, the deal he thought he had to make with the writing? Hmm. Okay, is all of this DLC going to end with like a scene, like, you know, black screen, and you're just going to hear Alan say, I've, I'm awake, and that's it? And then 12, 15 years later, Alan Wake 2. Alright, Flare should just do damage to these guys, right? If I drop them? The scope of this horror was unimaginable. It would have been so... I don't know how I didn't die there. batteries for yeah so because it's it's orange that means I can't I have to focus to do damage right the, the oh, fucking hell. whoa is this gonna spawn forever? Sake, leave me alone. What what's hitting me? What what what's hitting me? What's hitting me? Trolley chain? Maybe. That's a that is a bad way to die. Oh god damn it, really? Did we do it? There was one more. 
Where is it? There we go. Holy shit, sorry. That was loud. Again, a uh, better progression on the idea though, using the flashlight to hit weak points to while th shit is thrown at you. I like it. It's not perfect or anything, but it's uh, definitely better than what we had in the base game. The end. Why is this happening to me? Why is this happening to me? Dodge. No. No. Harvest. There's no way out. No way out. No way out. I need to get out of here. Get out of here. No. Ah. All right. Okay. I like it. That was good. Definitely what was missing from the base game. I think. Do I have to hit a button? Oh, Alan Wake remastered. All right. Unable to log into Epic Online Services again. All right. Uh, let's take an early break because right now we're at the be uh, you know between chapters. Um, so there's one more DLC to do, and I think that'll probably like round out the stream. Um, maybe we can start the control DLC. No, I, I'd have to download it. That that's stupid. We shouldn't we shouldn't start that. Um, so we're gonna do um uh the writer next, and then after that we will end the stream. And tomorrow I will get it set up the control and American Nightmare DLC set up, and we'll do the control one first. And if we have time, we'll do American Nightmare. But I might just run through American Nightmare. How long is the writer? Is it an hour? Is it as, just as long as the signal? Because if it's only half an hour, maybe I should um get something else set up and, and get it ready. Hmm. About the same length. All right. That sh that should be that should take us to about five hour stream, right? Five hour stream is not bad. All right. Be back. Have you been seeing the whole time? Get up, walk around. I did not realize that Control was in the same universe as Alan Wake. That's okay. Neither did Remedy until Control was finished. And they made DLC for it. Actually, that might not be true. Just being a shitter. If you start American Nightmare, I think you can finish that and Control by tomorrow. Alright, we'll see how long this takes. If we have time, then we'll, we'll start it. Would you recommend Liza P as someone's first Souls like game? Yeah, you can definitely play it. Um, If you hit up against a difficulty wall, then... You're probably either trying to block and deflect too much or trying to dodge too much. You need to do both. Try and do both together about an equal amount of time. And that should alleviate a lot of issues. There are some bosses that are incredibly difficult if you're trying to deflect all that they're doing. Um, and conversely, there are some bosses that are incredibly difficult if you try to dodge what they're doing. Although they're more rare. I think there's only like maybe two or three bosses that uh, are much, much harder doing dodge only. All right, here we go. Previously on Alan Wake, it's not a lake, it's an ocean. After saving my wife from the mysterious dark presence, I found myself trapped in the dark place. Imagination can be the enemy here. A nightmarish world that exists somewhere beyond the shores of our own existence. We're the one making all this happen. Just do what Zane tells you. Follow the signal. Is all this really coming out of my head? Dark place playing tricks on you. I made my way across its ever-shifting landscape, trying to reach Thomas Zane. You're trapped in your own nightmares. You're still going deeper. The writer. <laughs> There you go, Alan. It's all in your head. Wait, who was that? You've been making it up. <laughs> was it Barry? Really? Your delusions are out of control. Oh, get out of my head. Seriously, Al, you need to get a grip. You know reality's different here. See what I mean, Al? 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 Hmm. 
Hmm. So this is just part two of the same concept. Ugh, All right. I think I'm stuck on this side. Well, you're gonna have to find your way out of there. I'll wait. Just remember, <clears throat> you're still in the dark place. You know that, right? I don't want to alarm you, pal, but it's sink or swim time. Fine. Sink or swim in the I ocean. I could feel Twang. the pressure mounting. Barry was right. Time was running out. Everything I saw was a dark, twisted version of reality based on my memories and thoughts. Crumble. Okay, why do I want to do that? I guess we're, we're going there. Let's see what happens. Someone's asking if I want to play Lords of the Fallen 2 or Lords of the Fallen Reboot or whatever the hell it is. Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, I just It looks kind of floaty to me, and but the lantern thing looks interesting. Kind of like this game, actually. Um, it looks interesting, but uh, I don't really have time at the moment. I got a, a lot of stuff I need to do. Uh, but I would like to, yeah. Okay, does this... I'm misunderstanding something already. Did this change something as it went along? I think you gotta swing it! Yeah, to where? There's no way that's gonna reach crumble, is it? Oh! Oh, it was a- oh, sorry, I thought it was like in- on the ground. Oh, okay. I had to accept it. If all of this was from my mind, then I was the one making all this happen. I was literally fighting myself. It was a moment of clarity. Two voice lines there, smooshed together. Smoosh. Surprise. Oh! <laughs> Hello, dear. Sorry, sorry. Climb. What was... What was climb? Oh, okay. After finishing departure, I felt finished myself. All I had wanted was to save Alice. After that, a part of me had been ready to just give in and die. But I hadn't given up. Thomas Sane had reached me. I had run across a nightmarish landscape following a signal from him. He kept telling me I was sinking going too deep. I wasn't sure if he meant the dark place or insanity. Perhaps they were one and the same. Those look uh, cool. I like them. Hey! Nice job, Al! So, you really are nuts, huh? Let's face it, we always knew this was coming. I guess, but... But I actually feel pretty rational, all things considered. Crazy people don't know they're crazy. That's where they're crazy. Mm. Hey, check out the light show behind the lodge. That's Zane's light. Yeah, you're done sinking now. That means he's just about caught up with you. You better go talk to him. Tabs or spaces? I prefer spaces. I don't use my tab key very much, except for alt tabbing. Lots of fireworks here. Nice. Wake heard the old gods play. Music came out all wrong. It attracted the horrors. Four spaces or two spaces? Between sentences, I just I just do one. Call me, someone will call me a boomer for doing two spaces after a period, and they're so right. So right. Do you think in the future there won't be any lower and uppercase anymore? There'll just be one unified font, either all, all lower or all upper, or mostly one. Hey, isn't it kind of ironic that you're a writer and you're threatened by your own imagination? It's like. Your greatest power no, you don't think so? You. That's very deep, but I'm a little busy not dying over here. Jeez, always with the melodrama. Everything will be common sense in the future. Surrounded by the enemies and deafened by the noise. 
Did we win? Oh no! Did we die? The way Joe runs into dead ends, I'm convinced he wouldn't survive a zombie ap apocalypse. Oh, I definitely would not, no. You can get inside now, Al. The big guy busted down the door. If the zombies didn't get me on day one or two, I would make myself just easy pickings by being like, I, I can survive this drop without twisting my ankle, and then I would fall and actually just straight up break my leg, and then that's it, I'm, I'm done. That's how I'm going out. Nah, I'll be fine. Elephant? Again? See now, this is classic you. Always make things complicated. This is just a memory. Even your memories are complicated. Uh, I'm looking forward more to the sequel after this. Yeah. So I guess you're gonna need to talk to Zane out there now that he's actually here. I'm just gonna, you know, let you non-imaginary people talk in peace. You're not coming? Nah. That was a crutch, you know. Hey, you're moving up in the world, buddy. Oh, it's gone. Missy Barry. Would you survive the kitchen drama that comes with zombies? What? Lily, would you rather be eaten by a zombie or eat a zombie? It's eat or be eaten. I guess eat. Eat? Could I put the condiments on it? You sure. <laughs> Say, you're done that's an, that's an, that's an amazing like, question. Well done. <laughs> amazing question. Well done. Now I can accompany you. You are trapped in your own dream. You must wake yourself up, but first, you have to reach yourself. The cabin? Yes, my cabin. It will not be easy. Your previous work can help you. I still have some pages of your manuscript left. Words like that have power here. Ah. And, and they become the path you take. Ah, oh, this is good. I like this a lot. Damn. Where was this? Is anyone else as, a, as, as, as feeling the same way? Like, like, damn, where was this in the base game? Like, it's not incredible. I'm not like, holy shit. But it's it's so much better, right? It's much better. Very appropriate. I can help you reach it. But after that, you will be on your own. I cannot enter the cabin now. The Dark Presence made sure of that on our last encounter. You are facing yourself, the parts of your mind that are hard to control. This is not a fight anyone else can win for you. <laughs> okay, that's different. Flow. Hit. <laughs> Oh man, this I'm is getting better and better. Had Zane with me in this place. He knew the terrain such as it was, but a part of me wondered if he was even human anymore after so many years in this place. Have you ever boiled meat in coke? No, I haven't. I've also given up the coke. The world was tilted. It was turning upside down. Wake was lost. He would fall. He couldn't tell which way was up. He would die there, torn apart by the whirlwind. Oh, Ah, the arrow. Wait, that card. Wake was too high. Too high! At this height, the water would be like hitting concrete. Nah, it's a video game. You'll be fine. You can't want me dead this bad. The storm bad. was coming! It would throw him off! Eating a little bit of chocolate, chat? Please forgive me. 
I don't have enough to share with everybody. No, 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 no! Favorite dead meme? Uh, the Witcher 3 video. But maybe I'm just ahead on the curve on that one. Oh, for fuck! All right, what do we think? A little bit more to the left? There we go. Even this got reused. Nice. They focused on the lighthouse. Inside a tree. <laughs> you will find the cat. Things are getting pretty crazy. To be expected. You are struggling to reclaim yourself. The landscape reflects that strain, but each step takes you closer. If you persevere, you can attain the lucidity that fends off the darkness. Now that I knew what I was facing, the environment became even wilder and stranger. Like it was no longer even bothering to pretend that things were normal. Still kind of foresty though, Alan. Still, still kind of foresty. It is nice that it's not just a forest. Roll. Oh sh- When is Deadpool gonna show up? I don't know about Deadpool. It, it, he insists upon himself too much. What was your overall opinion of Control? Um, kind of mid. Some really interesting ideas, but the gameplay doesn't evolve enough, and it doesn't explore its setting enough for me. Gameplay in is far better than this game, I think, but still not enough for how much it has you shooting. But I think most people disagree with me. I think most people like control more than I do. Maybe the DLC for that's better than, uh, better for the whole experience. Like, imagine playing this without the DLC. That's what I did with control, right? Because I remember control just kind of ending too, right? Right, 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 right. Sorry. I'm getting a little tired now. I'm noticing that around the four to five hour mark, I start to wane a little bit. Um, but also I got up earlier today after not much sleep, so maybe I'm hitting it a little sooner. But then I thought I wasn't really talking all that much toward the end of stream yesterday, and then I watched part of it back, and I was talking more, like much more than I than I realized. I still was talking less than the beginning, but it's hard to judge. Hole. This one's mine? All right, that's neat. Oh, lots of flares. So the flare became a stick of dynamite. Or TNT. They're both the same thing. <gasps> Trolley? One second, chat. I have some more squares in my chocolate. It's a caramilk. Because Twix and Mars bars have gluten in them. Lame. Are you going to play both the Control DLCs or just the Alan Wake one? Just the Alan Wake one. Sorry, I'm talking about my mouthful. It's very rude. Hmm. 
Dead in the zombie apocalypse again. Hey chat, does anyone know when his next upload is? I uploaded today. Next upload will probably be tomorrow. Inscription uh, stream uh, part part three. Really appreciating the stream uploads. Yeah, I'm sorry it's taking me so long to get to it. I have so many to finalize. I have all of them rendered and ready to go to, except for the Lies of P um, streams. Starfield ones are done. They're on YouTube. Um, obviously, these these sets I haven't gotten to yet either. But uh, yeah, that's it. They have to go up one day at a time now. Wait. Will you try Cocoon? It's my game of the year. Um, I th that's by the makers of Inside, right? I saw that. It looked beautiful, but I don't know if I would enjoy it. Do you, does it look like my kind of game? Or sorry, it, is it my kind of game? People who have played it? I don't know. There will be a, a main channel upload um, probably sooner than you think. Oh, now what? It's called What to What to Witch when you're witchering. It's very good. Oh, this is cool. Oh, all right. It's I quit YouTube. Pff, I wish. That can't happen just yet, though. Sorry. Oh, it's typewriter keys. Oh, I spelled wake. Uh, oh. Huh. Ghost Rider, plus two, Mary, plus two. Mr. Wake, can I help you with anything? Let's have a look at your head, Mr. Wake. This is a very good reuse of assets, I think. Very creative. Was eating those beans? Are you insane? Uh, what? Down here? Oh, oh, shh. Okay. If forced to choose, would you rather read Silmarillion or finish Steins Gate? Oh, man. Alright, it's pointing to... Oh, I see. Okay, I have to I have to wait. Makes sense. Oh, that's a really hard one. I, I know that some people might be surprised that it's a tough one. Sil Silmarillion would be so boring to me. Like, at least with Steins Gate, like, I could monetize it. <laughs> And I could have something to discuss with chat, I guess. I don't know. Like, oh man, Silmar will be so fucking boring. Oh shit. I can't believe it, but I'd probably go with Steins Gate. If I absolutely had to do it on my own time and I couldn't like make it a stream feature, then maybe I would go with Silmaril and hope that I find it, because I know I'm not enjoying Steins Gate and maybe there's a chance I would enjoy Silmaril. Sil is also much, much shorter. How is is that true? That's insane if true. When your shit is longer than Silmaril, you fucked up. Ah, we're going to the other side of the well-lit room. An elevator? Sure, why not? Next stop, Sanity. You're doing well. Keep going. Whoa. It's hard to make sense of this place. It's a dream. This is a vast place. Home to forces and beings that are completely alien. The Dark Presence. Yes. I don't know what happened to it after your final encounter. Is there any way out of here? Sometimes transmissions can be sent between worlds. You've done this yourself. But to actually leave the dark place, I haven't found a way. How long is the script? 137,462 words. 
Stucky's gas Is that station. London Silmeryl? Not something I particularly wanted to see, but obviously I wasn't the one in the driver's seat. Oh shit. All right, we're, we're out of shotgun shells. Let's go hunting rifle. Another memory made clear. Blake would never make it. The insanity he was facing was already a part of it. In him. His own doing. He couldn't possibly win. He didn't even want to. I just joined. Can you summarize your thoughts on the game? Uh, base game was too long, kind of boring. Story went nowhere. But it had some cool vibes and some, some fun moments. DLC has... Um, expanded that quite well so far uh surprisingly the gameplay has been pretty fun and creative it hasn't been stellar but it's been pretty good um i don't know why i keep saying stellar that's my go-to word for like awesome i guess this year um and the story is, has uh been taken to it, it, this is the finale that i think the game needed really Sill is 365 pages Oh, one a year and 130k words. Surprisingly, ah, oh, it's longer than Silmaril. Fuck, I fucked up. All right, I'm cutting shit. At least the lighthouse was much closer now. I would have to make my way up there somehow. I'm cutting. Oh, I'm dead. Alan Wake versus Silent Hill 2. Oh, Alan Wake. Silent Hill 2 does have some redeeming parts of it, though. You know. <laughs> Now, Silent Hill 2 is pretty good. Um, I think I prefer this, though. I think I prefer the atmosphere of Silent Hill 2, though. Uh, but the DLC, this DLC, I think I prefer this than, than Silent Hill 2. But base game, uh, Silent Hill 2 takes it, for sure. Is there anything you like about Tolkien? Um, he's got a cool name. Uh, it's been so long. I, I like The Hobbit, but I haven't read it again since I was... 16 so I don't know like I, but I did like the Hobbit he's really great at naming things you definitely know who's the bad guys and who's the good guys because who lives in Mount Doom have your children read Hobbit no I don't think they would like the Hobbit the script is a quarter of the total work count of Steins Gate keep going is Steins Gate really that long how f we were barely into it then huh holy shit I know it's ri this is rich coming from me, but what's it like to just not give a fuck about pacing? Holy shit. Like, like, like my creative works are actually, if anything, they're paced too quickly. So, you know, I, I actually can say that. But the scripts, you know, yeah, they can meander, sure. For context, going off the anime, you were barely a quarter of the way through. Oh, fucking hell. Whenever I think of Steins Gate, the most vivid memory that comes back to me is the Sunday that we played it, or Saturday that we played it. Science Gate Sunday on a Saturday, or whatever the fuck it was. And it was like week one, or sorry, week two or week three. And it was like, all right, here we go. Hit load and just instant cat girl. Hey, hi, welcome back, me Aster. I was like, oh, fuck's sake. Just, oh man, that was, I, it must have been insane for you guys, but fucking hell. I'm so lucky I made that ultimatum with it. The absolute whale you made, it was insane. It was my husky noise. Roar. <laughs> learned it, learned it from a husky. We looked after a husky uh, for a while, um, a while ago, uh, whose name, ironically enough, was Yoshi. This was the Yoshi before Yoshi in our 20s. We babysat a dog for uh, two of Lily's friends. And um, I, being the crazy person that I am, would, you know, oh, you think you're gonna husky howl at me, huh, husky? I can do it back. <laughs> So, so I learned to back back to this dog. Because <laughs> if you're gonna do it, fuck it, I'll do it back. So yeah, <laughs> wonder how he's doing. How did it react? That head tilt that dogs do. We have a. If you don't know my life, uh, we have t three dogs. Uh, two are mine. One is Lily's. Uh, well, one is the kids, but it's, they're really my dogs. Uh, we have a yellow lab named Yoshi, and we have a husky mixed with a white shepherd or a Swiss shepherd uh, named Gatsby. And he's my dog. And he is very quiet for a husky. He, he doesn't do the thing at all. Use the log lift. He does eat socks, though, which is apparently something huskies do. And by that I mean, I've known two huskies and both of them ate socks. 
Okay, where's this guy? Why? I don't know. They just like to eat socks. Worst trend in contemporary English usage? Mm, I don't know if this counts. I am very guilty of this. Uh, I noticed this when I was a teen, even, and that's how long it's been around, and I still haven't managed to get it out of my system. The insecurity of, like, my generation, maybe the generation above mine, but definitely a generation below mine, too, to not want to say something concrete in their language. It's, it's constantly like, 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 but it's not just reusing that word as well. The, the, there's this fear of saying the something part of concrete. You that is in control is in the cabin. Dreaming Does that count? Is that a good answer? I don't think I like that. You represent the part of Alan Wake that is capable of rational thought and planning. Kind of, sort of, yeah, it, in a way, sort of, you know, kind of like, you know, yeah, Why absolutely. I'm talking to you. If that part can regain control, then you have a chance of making it. But a part of you wants to give in. There's comfort in the oblivion of dreams. Ooh. You represent the part that isn't ready to quit and die. Wait, are you telling me I'm not real? You're as real as anything else in this place. That's a no. So there are two of me? Yes. And the one you called Mr. Scratch, he's me as well? No. Zane, are you playing some kind of game with me? It's not. I am not the author of your story. How can you, you say are. that when you wrote that page about me in the clicker? It wasn't one of my pages. You directed me to it. You had Weaver guard it. Yes, she was needed. And you needed the clicker. But I, I am not. What? Wait. I don't understand. Alan, Does he know? Zane? Zane? Kay. Come on! Well... That cleared things up. So Zane's our dad, right? Are you looking forward to your quadrennial Umi Neko streams? Could have been Umi Neko. We're already with the Nekos. Here they are. Umi Neko when the seagulls cry with their fucking cat, cat girl feathers and their fucking cat girl mouth. Yeah, I am. I haven't forgotten. Don't worry. Couple months away. How many sleeps? Cackle E, cackle E, cackle E. A platformer released uh, with a playable young dragon called Finn with a Y. I thought you'd like to know this. Does it look good? Umineko will be interesting aside from the occasional main character says something perverted dialogue which sucks and goes away as it goes on. Episode 1 takes itself fairly seriously. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Oh man, the campaign that will be waged when we do that on, on, uh, on the leap day next year will be something to behold. No, keep doing it, keep doing it. Have you played the Final Cut version of Disco Elysium? Uh, no. The only one I have I've played is, is the one you can watch on YouTube. Oh, wait, you can't because of copyright bullshit. What a shame. mate. No, uh, I've only did that one stream. Fuck, I'm so mad that those didn't go up. That was a good playthrough. I love that game. The unnatural wind. It was heralding the enemy's arrival. Wait, what leave this place alive? Umi Neko will be your expanse. What, do you like Umi Neko, Baldur? I don't, but some weebs think, think it's great. Weebs have been right from time to time, okay? The weebs were right about 13 Sentinels, okay? Maybe the weebs were right about one of the Uchikoshi bits. I don't know. Occasionally, weebs are right. Is Ghost Trick weeb or is it or is it Dancer? It's weeb. It's cream. It's weeb. They were right about Ghost Trick was pretty good too. I enjoyed Ghost Trick. Ghost Trick is Balder. I take it back. Ghost Trick suck. I especially hated the detective character. A moment. I can help you here. Screams? How the hell are you doing that? Dream on C. Control your dreams. There's a connection. You were in my dream. Yes. I taught you. You fixed the foolish mistake I made with Barbara. 
Lesbomancy. What a line. What a line, CD Project. What a line. I thought you said good things aren't weeb because they're good. Oh, that's true. Sorry, I forgot about that. That's that's true. But weeb still like it. Can't deny that. What, you mean every 29th of February? Yeah, I, I, April Fools, I announced it. But it wasn't a joke, I meant it. As long as people remember. And I knew people would remember and hold me to it. Every leap day. Umi Neko. <laughs> Umi Neko leap days on a leap day. <laughs> I thought of the joke before I, before I knew there was a leap day coming up. And then I was like, oh, that's perfect. That's so soon. Let's do it. And then, uh, and then I was like, I wonder if people will forget. In the back of my head, they were like, there's no way they're going to forget. If you enjoy it uh, enough, to, will you make it annual? I mean, I can't, because it's it's leap day. If there was an, a, an annual leap day, sure. Imagine how, how giga-fucked I could be if, if like, the, the world, uh, New World Ordered randomly decided, you know what, February now has uh, 29 days. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Fuck, no! That's that's four times Yumi Neko, no! Those ladies that came to your house will do that just to fuck with you. I don't know. What what were they cooking, man? Wh who talks about globalized government? I don't understand. I don't remember, like, exactly what they said, but they did say global government. What the fuck were they cooking? Who comes to the hoose and does that shit? Wait, they came to your house? Yeah, the, the Illuminati. Oh, is there gonna be Illuminati in this that fight the darkness? Because they illuminate? <laughs> no, I told the story, um, what was it? I, I would, the Super Mario Wonder streams, uh, two, two, um, women like knock, knocked on the door to our house the other the other day a couple weeks back I won't do the whole bit again but they, they're basically like you know all of us neighbors have been talking and you know when are we ever gonna get the globalized fucking leadership that we deserve or some shit and I'm like and then I just closed the door in their face and went back to eating my tacos like I don't what the fuck was he talking about like who who does this shit I could understand it if they just knocked on the door and were like, hey, don't, a bunch of us neighbors were talking and don't you also hate Trudeau and want to fuck him? Like, like okay, like, I don't, I don't hate Trudeau, sorry, but you know, I, I understand where you're coming from, I get that, but what the fuck is this globalized government bit? Question, question mark. Oh yeah, not everyone's Canadian. So it's a, it's very common to see uh, on people's um, trucks here. Uh, usually it's a pickup truck. Um, stickers that have a Canadian flag on it, and it's and it literally just says "fuck Trudeau." There's a bunch of people that have made hating Trudeau their whole identity, and personality. Oh my God, are we ever gonna get through this? Maybe we- Oh, we did it! Nice. We also have fuck Biden, fuck Trump. Do you have stickers you put on your car with that on it? I guess probably. Does it have a Canadian, uh, um, does it have a maple leaf on it? He would never reach it. His life would be snuffed out just as easily as the very thing he thought would save him. Even with the light gone, all I could do was keep going. And thank you, Mr. Costco, for the resub. Is Costco worth it? Any Costco heads in the chat? Do you have a little? No, I have a big one. I play games on hard. Costco A, do you have Sam's Club at all? I don't think we have that in Canada. I'm not sure. What's a little? Let's not beat around the bush. You have a lot of problems, Alan. Does Moncton have a Costco? Yes. Since we're being so <laughs> frank here, Alan, and let me just reiterate how happy I am that you've had this breakthrough. Your friend. I would like to summarize your condition. By all means. And please, just let me know if you think I'm being unfair. All right. Well, let's start with the obvious. The car crash. Untreated head trauma. All due respect to Doc Nelson, but he's hardly a neurosurgeon. 
I think that the injury has affected you more than you realize. Yeah, I, I have had bad headaches. Then there's your history of substance abuse, which, combined with your chronic insomnia, has resulted in hallucinations and extremely poor impulse control. That's a dangerous combination, one which your wife has unfortunately had to suffer from far more than you. I know. I know she has. I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say that you are existing in a state of all-encompassing denial. Your vivid fantasy casts you as a heroic victim and allows you to skirt responsibility for your own actions. It allows you to solve your imaginary problems and dismiss the things that truly trouble you. In your self-serving delusions, your personal problems are assets that allow you to save Alice, perhaps even the world. Ooh. Dr. Harmon, I, I think that's spot on. I can't argue with any of that. Well, I'm sure I'm stating the obvious. I don't want Isn't to favor the point, but well, um. No, no. I understand. It's important that I face it. Precisely, Alan. You put so much effort and imagination into this self-deception, but what good has it really done for you? I have to hold F down the you whole time, by the way. my offer of help, and here you are. Did being so obdurate really get you to a better place? No. No. And did it really help Alice? Was this really the best thing for your wife? Probably not. Probably not. Oh, I can leave. Find out. You know, I've been talking with her. There's something she wanted you to hear. Oh, hey. That sounds like fun. Hit the bricks. All I ever wanted was to help you, Alan. I ate all the shit you handed out and tried to understand your pathetic, wealthy white male Ooh. drama. <laughs> Until my life consisted of managing your never-ending crisis. I hate you for your childish temper and the arrogance Self-indulgent pride that undermine all efforts to drag you out of the hole you insisted on digging for yourself. I hate you for leaving me in the dark with that insane monster bitch. All you had to do was act like a loving human being for once in your life and stay with me. If your dramatic exit hadn't been more important than making sure I was all right, she would never have taken me. I don't know where you went, but that's okay. I don't want to know. I don't think I'll ever be all right. The only thing that keeps me from killing myself is the hope that I'll never see you again. Ouch. Damn. I I just can't argue with that. I think I should stay here before I ruin what life she has left. I think this is a breakthrough, Alan. I'm really very proud of you. Aww. It was nonsense. I knew I had saved her. I'd succeeded in that, and that was all that mattered. What I heard in there wasn't the truth. It was just another toxic mirage. It cut deep, but that made me all the more determined to force myself to snap out of it. I didn't want to be that guy anymore. I had to make myself see the light. I really hope the sequel is, like, more this stuff. I, I'm not expecting it to be this right away, but I hope it gets here, like, around the halfway mark or before the halfway mark. Any plans to stream Neo 2 in the near future? No, nah, I don't think so. I played Neo 2 a little bit a couple weeks back, and, um, like, man, it took me, like, like, like 10 tries to kill the fucking first boss. Uh, and I don't know. I, I, I feel like that game is too hard for me. Like, I still did it, and, you know, there was... I killed most of the stuff after that, you know, in a couple tries. That was hard. And I, I played it for, I don't know, two, three hours, and... But still, like, sometimes it's... The shit in that game just moves so fast. And I don't know if I like the the red counter system where you go into demon form whenever they do a red attack. I, I felt like I couldn't understand it. It was just, hey, the, the boss flashes red, hit L, and then Y or whatever the fuck it was. I don't know. This guy beat Nameless Puppet first try uh, pre 1.2, by the way. Yeah, you, 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 keep, you keep saying it. Keep saying it. Keep saying it. I just got really lucky. I fought Nameless Puppet uh, twice more, and I don't know how I killed that first try. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Here's the plane. Oh, jeez. Neo 2 is way easier for me than Sekiro. I think the main thing is that it isn't clear with it. 
with info like it should be. I think maybe you can you can gear it or use a lot of abilities that can make it easier, perhaps. But that's going to be difficult for me to suss out. Just there were a lot of enemies that would do moves, and I was like, where the fuck was the telegraph for that? Like, holy shit, that was so fast. I like the progression system I saw in that game, though, with all the skill trees. Because I'm a bit of a, uh, of a po head now. And the skill trees for all the weapons and everything looked really cool. Oh, shh! Suspected scam. Sorry, usually I have the, the ringer on silent. Why, though, you're only pl playing RF? I've played different ones. It's not only just RF. I was trying the explosive ar arrow bit a bit before I stopped playing. And... I don't know. I feel like Path of Exile has a really big problem with DPS uptime being so important and you can never stop moving. That all of the builds, no matter even if they use, like, different, like stat-based spells or whatever that are so far on opposite ends of each other, that it all still ends up being functionally the same of, like, either make the damage just appear around you on its own, or have something that you just put down on the ground and then you just run around and just maintain it while it does damage for you. And that just fucking sucks, man. But maybe that's just the meta and you can still make, like, hey, I actually cast the spell myself work. But it's just not very efficient. Oh, man. I'm getting owned. Anyway, let's not talk about Path of Exile, though. Some people don't like it, and I really don't blame them. Look around this area, like here. Well done. You have come far, but there's still a little further to go. You must take full control of your own mind. Reject all of the fantasies you have constructed. Yeah, well, I think I can do that. A lot of the stuff I've seen here is personal and ugly as hell. I'll admit it hurts, but it's not fooling me. I know it's fake. Good. You are aware. The part of you bent on self-destruction is not. But you must be careful just because you know the lies for what they are. That doesn't make the danger any less real. Liza P? I'll make it. I don't have any choice. Here. I cannot come any further, but this will help you on your way. Thanks. I guess. The goal of Poe is to play less Poe. You're doing your wrong pressing buttons. That's true. Yep. Very true. Absolutely true. All right, is there a secret area over here? Someone asked if we'd get uh, robocalls in Moncton 2. Uh, probably. L Lily has seen a couple, I think, or had a couple, because she still answers her phone sometimes. I, I don't answer my phone unless I know the number. And even if I know the number, I have to be expecting a call before I answer my phone. How how doth I do this? Flare? I don't have a flare. Flashbang? Can I throw it? All right, then. Um, is it because I went over there first? What? I think you didn't pick up the page. Oh, I thought someone said look around. I thought this would lead somewhere else over here. And this wasn't the way. Sorry. Lameo got him. Well done. Here. I cannot come any further, but this will help you on your way. Thanks, I guess. Hey, let me tell you something, Alan. I know how your mind works. You screw up, then you start analyzing it, and before you know it, you start writing all these horror stories in your head. Don't you? Come on, I don't do that. <laughs> yes, you do. I know how it goes. You're a complete failure. I hate you and I'll never forgive you for whatever it was that you did. Am I wrong? Oh, man. See? I know you. But, Alan, it's all in your head. It is. I love you. I'm not going anywhere. And then she died. The lighthouse! I, I really thought we'd get back to the lighthouse at some point. They kept coming! There were too many of them! Hordes and hordes of them! Swarming over the landscape, eager to kill! They were coming for Wake, and this time they would get it with sheer numbers. What is one aspect of storytelling novels 
uh, that their movie or show adaptation struggled to replicate the most? Definitely some sort of uh, voice or, in or supplementation for the internal monologue that you usually are following along with a character. Even third person stories are usually anchored in a perspective that that flavors the text and you get to know the person, the character through that. And that's lost a lot when it comes to um, the, the visual format. It's not always lost. I would say that uh, Mr. Robot does this really well, although it might be kind of a basic observation with how it, it really makes you feel like you are uh, Spider-Man. Uh, like, some, someone who isn't all there when it comes to being coherent and sleep deprived and everything. Uh, the way that they use uh, visuals and camera angles and everything really makes you feel unsettled like you are experiencing along with Elliot. This is an example of it done well. Um, you can't always do it obviously but so instead you need something else instead to take over that to make it more and more of an interesting and enjoyable time. Although some people, some some works just straight up have a narrator and have a character talk to you, and that can work. But sometimes it can be a little, eh. I have a soft spot for when a character will turn to the camera and address the audience, but it can be kind of cringe sometimes. Depends, as always, it depends on how it's done. Do you like Mr. Robot? I love Mr. Robot. Mr. Robot was like possibly my new my new favorite show until the last season, specifically the last episode. Last two episodes, three episodes. Last season was losing me a little bit. Like, it wasn't as good in last season, but like, holy shit. Does it hold up to last season? I think I only saw the first two. I think so, yeah. And the last season still has a lot of great episodes and a um, very enjoyable um, stylistic choices. Let's put it that way. But the story collapses big time. However, don't take my word for it. Most people love the ending of Mr. Robot. Me and Kasaro are the only two in the whole entire world that don't like it. No, I hate it too. There's now three of us. There's me four of us. Damn, this is what it felt like, Merrick? Oh, this is intoxicating. Oh, man. Holy shit. Why doesn't this happen with, like, Odyssey videos? Why would I want to come in here? And do you think hard work entitles people to be treated differently? Entitles? I don't like the word entitles. Uh, I don't really know what you're asking. Feels like a leading question? Yeah, maybe. Whoa, where'd you come from? Stuck in a wall. Oh shit! Whoa! Freeze frame record scratch. That kind of talking to the audience I don't like. Hates Emperor's New Groove. I love Emperor's New Groove. That, that, that's an exception. <laughs> Did you like Asteroid City? Haven't seen it. Haven't seen the Mr. Sugar one either. Did you know that eating two medium cheese curds from Culver's makes my tummy hurt? I did know that. Has Joe seen Ad Astra? I have not, no. I would like to. This was interesting. It went on a touch too long, but hey, there was an idea here. They executed on it. Yeah, so far there's been... I, I, again, not like, oh my god, incredible, but interesting like the playing with ideas you know level design and gameplay in uh throughout most of the dlc really good the lighthouse i was relieved to have made it here but i wasn't sure what was going to happen now has joe seen dark i have i really enjoyed dark dark is a is a very good show have mixed feelings about how it ended in season three in general but uh the experience of watching that uh was very good there you go. Language has failed me. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Remember it fondly. He's here. Alan, wake up. Alan. Zane had left me. I wasn't sure what the Dark Presence had done to him if he couldn't follow. 
but from now on, I was on my own. Still, he had gotten me this far. I would never have made it by myself. This thing was going to end. It wouldn't be long now. Return. Returnal? She streamed that too. Oh. Is this the end? surprised by the change of scenery but not much i was starting to understand the symbolism hmm. the way the dark place flowed wait symbolism i hate that you know what let's finally go up here oh sh no wait wait for me oh no oh no Thoughts on Max Payne 2? Uh, I liked it more than Max Payne 1 in terms of gameplay. Story, I'm not sure. But it's pretty good. I'd like to replay it. Did it get remastered or is it getting remade? Thoughts on Max Payne 3? I haven't played it. I've only played 1 and 2 as it came out. Hey Joe, how are you liking Stephen King Simulator? Mitch Bros, your king is here. How's it going, Mitch? Uh, I'm enjoying the DLC quite a bit more than the base game. Th that's what we're doing right now. We're on the second hey DLC. Hey Al, uh, feeling kind of depressed here. What? So Zane's your new buddy now. I feel abandoned. This is ridiculous. You're not even real. <laughs> that doesn't mean I don't have any feelings. In four or five years, it'll be a remaster. Is that far off for Max Payne? Maybe we should re replay the originals then. We're doing some prep for the for the sequel on Friday. Thing is, you need to get all rational here. Abandon your fantasies, right? Well, I kind of hate to say this, pal, but I'm one. Fine, you're abandoned. Fine. Is that a TV in the in the rock? I didn't realize the sequel was so close. It's fine. You need a, a sequel to your current PC to be able to play it. Apparently, so that has to come out first. Cause holy shit, I'm worried I'm not gonna be able to run it while streaming at the same time. What does it say about you when you're this desperate to keep yourself from getting better? Here no. we go! I'm earning a 50% commission! Very no! It's great that you first make yourself an imaginary hey friend, and then you can't even get along with that guy! Evil skills, Al! You're a Master. This is the last boss. Last boss is Barry. Oh shit! Let's crack that writer's block of yours, Alan. <laughs> You're a modern master of crime fiction, an expert on murder in dark alleyways, and a master of substance abuse. That's the best part. I can't shoot him. <laughs> there you go. So, it's great. It's my job. Mostly consists of making sure you don't lose your entire life. Uh, but you have all the impulse control of a big on track. It's very enriching. Whoa. I have several lawyers on speed dial just because I never know when you get in trouble again. You know what kind of people need that? Gangsters. And assholes. And you're not a gangster. I could be a gangster. All the time. Hey, remember when you threw a hissy fit? Because your wife tried to help you and your ego couldn't take it, and because of that, you almost got me killed a dozen times over. BFF, Al. BFF. All right, chat. How do we feel about the the revelation that? All the bad stuff that was it seemed to be building to like oh the relationship wasn't as good as it was and it turns out that it just has some rough patches and and alan hyper fixates on them and makes them worse than his head as actually are i actually really like it 
because I thought it was going to be like, oh no, there was this darker side of the relationship and stuff. But it's, it, but but no, it, it's like it's it's more complicated than that. And it's not exactly being subtle about it, but it's not rubbing your nose in it either, right? I like it. It's interesting. Have you seen the Mouth of Madness? I have not. No. It's totally not. You have to literally pay your best friend to hang out because everybody else is just a surly ass. Yeah. Now, I'm really running low on patience here. So this is too important to leave out of the base game. Though. Oh yeah, this is this is definitely the end of the game that they didn't have time or budget to finish. This isn't DLC. I don't know if someone in chat said it. They probably did. This this is this is absolutely essential. Like you didn't finish the game if you didn't finish this. Which sucks if it wasn't out yet when you played it. Ow, I swear to God, you're driving me nuts. Again? Game is trying as hard as to make Joe use better. It is, isn't it? I, I'm severely tempted. Like it's not fun to wait around, but at the same time, like we got this far. Oh no! All right, that's got to be it. It's a video game. Three times all you need. Baba Yaga. Confront Barry. The two DLC episodes cost money on release too. Yeah, so we shouldn't play it on Friday. We should wait two years. Too dark. All right. Where am I? I can't find my way. Why is this happening to me? I can't find my way. It's too dark. Why? Why is this happening to me? Just like that, my mind was clear. Zane had been right. I could think clearly again. But I couldn't survive in this place the way he had, and I might not make it back a second time. Leaving this place would be hard. Maybe impossible. But I could do it the right way. It wouldn't take much for my thoughts to stray again. It was too easy to get lost in the dark place. You need more paper Before, than that. I was ready to curl up and die. Let myself slip away. The escape. There I was. The yet unwritten future waiting to unfold before me. Alan Wake 2? A sequel to Departure. Departure 2? My name is Alan Wake. Return! Oh man, more DLC set up? Oh god, I left it all the way too. I barely meet the requirements for medium settings running at 30 frames per second. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you need, you need PC too. Yeah, for sure. That was genuinely great. I loved it. I really enjoyed the DLC. I had like, you know, I was... had a decent time with the base game. But mm, without the DLC, I'd be like, yeah, whatever. But yeah, that added a lot. All right, let's not get DMCA'd. Imagine being a fan of this game waiting 13, for 13 years to even know there's a, a sequel was being worked on. Again with the Major Tom? I mean, most of the fans are in chat right now, right? Alright. Pretty good. I hope that the sequel is more uh, in line with the DLC. Alright. Um, is there anything else I'm missing here? We did everything, right? Extras. Stats. Fan notes are right. No, we're doing fan art on Saturday. Oh, we missed two of the standees. Where were they? Oh, we didn't find even half of the video games. Hmm. Batteries used six. Ah, oh, god damn it! Can pyramids knocked over? Oh, you were right. Chests found. We missed nine chests. Why wasn't American Nightmare included in this? Strange. How many thermoses? Uh, seventy, I think. Sixty or seventy. 
anal wank remaster. Just, just fucking like, just all subtlety through the window, knife straight in the neck. <laughs> anal wank remaster. <laughs> oh man, nice. All right. Um, I think that's it for me today. It's six o'clock. Uh, we could stream for another two hours, but I'm already kind of, uh, wilting. And, uh, like I said, I didn't get much sleep. I had to get up early. Um, so I think I'd rather call it here than have to fiddle with downloading and getting some stuff ready. So I think we'll start maybe a little early tomorrow if I can manage it, which I probably should be able to do. And then we will, um... We will no review no reviews. Well, it's it's on the Epic Store. There is no reviews. Uh, we'll start off with start off with Control DLC, and then if we have time, do American Nightmare. Does that sound good? Or do we want to start off with American Nightmare and then go to Control DLC? I'll get both ready, but we'll see. Bye, Joe. Always nice to pop in on your streams. It's always nice to see you, Mitch. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you're well. American Nightmare is just for fun. So Control DLC. All right, Control DLC last, please. Is there like a building narrative or something? Okay, if we're absolutely going to do f both of them, is it better to go American Nightmare into Control DLC? But if we risk running out of time, it's better to do Control DLC and, and then American Nightmare? Yeah? Okay. Can you even finish both in one day? I don't know. Like I can o always just go a little bit over. American Nightmare is an arcade card game. An arcade game. Apparently, it's important though. Some people say it's it's important to the plot. But then again, Yakuza Zero happens with uh with the housing. <laughs> you have to check if you've got a control save file. Apparently, there are save files out there you can download if you don't have yours. Oh, I need a save file in order to do the DLC. Do I? Okay. Do do three hours for American Nightmare. Two hours for DLC. I think is if American Nightmare is only three hours, we absolutely have time to do it tomorrow. Like easy, easy, easy. I'll, I'll deadline run it. We'll be fine. Did you play Control on Steam or Epic? I think it was Epic right when it first came out, wasn't it? I think it was an Epic exclusive for a little bit. I'm still mad that Shout were being shitters and we didn't finish the Cabaret Club side story. Yakuza Zero is such good value for money, isn't it? Oh my god. There's so much you can just lose yourself to in that. Just attractions all over the shop. Your it will never happen forever actually stuck on my head still thinking about that. No, don't do it. No, why did I read it? God damn it. Oh, no. Your your playthrough of Control predates Epic supporting cloud save. So unless there's the same installation on Windows, you probably lost the save. Um, I think it's a... I think... Yeah, I think it was on the computer that had the 2080 in it. I'm on a 3090 now on this computer. And I remember the 2080, I remember being surprised that the 2080 couldn't tank the ray tracing, but this this computer could, could do the ray tracing control, I think, yeah. Just download a save game. And be a Redditor? And not replay the whole game just for a two hour DLC? Could this PC run Witcher 2 max settings? Uh, I don't think this PC has ever ran Witcher 2. I, I That was already done and dusted before, like long before I got this computer. I don't think this computer's even ran Witcher 3. 3090, yeah, you might be able to run Alan Wake at high settings at 30 frames per second. Ah, oh, cinematic, nice. Nice. That one setting, Witcher 2, let me out. Uber sampling, yeah. There's actually an Alan Wake control crossover teaser in Quantum Break with a chalkboard early on in the game showing a breakdown of Alan Wake's plot points. Huh. So they made the darkness. Control main menu has a mission select option to start a save basically at the end of the game. A chatter said this joke. Oh, is the chatter right? Or are you just relaying the message because it's a it's a potential? Quantum wake. Quantum wank. <laughs> is it going to quantum break something, David Cage? I don't know. Uh, Uber assembly is basically running the game at a higher resolution than your monitor. Okay, I don't, I don't understand tech shit at that level clearly. What would ever be the point of doing that? Would it would somehow it would just bleed through a little bit or anti aliasing Oh, okay. Better better anti aliasing American Nightmare outlines some logic for the lore and introduces Mr. Scratch properly. It's not as important as the Control DLC, but I still think you should check it out since it's very short, like three four hours, and it's improved the gameplay of the first a bit. Oh, has it? Okay, we'll we'll definitely check it out tomorrow then. I, I think we have time. We have a whole extra stream. We'll do that. Um. I'm not completely adverse to even pushing the Alan Wake 2 stream start to Saturday if we have to, but I think we can do it tomorrow. I think I think we'll be able to do it. Let's do Quantum Break as well. Let's throw it on there. No, I'm kidding. Um, 
yeah definitely want to end i'm tired anyway i'll see you tomorrow chat we'll start with american nightmare and then we'll do control dlc and that should be a full stream tomorrow full stream ahead all aboard the subway train choo choo all right I, oh, holy shit. <laughs> okay storm hail i'm leaving all right see you later see you tomorrow <laughs> holy shit all right bye <laughs> Oh, I can uninstall Remastered, right? I, yeah, I totally can. All right, I'll uninstall it. All right, see you later.